<laughs> and welcome to Nat One Fun, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I hope you had a great week. As always, I know I did. Um, yeah. So uh, as I was saying just previously, we are currently missing uh, Leiden right now, but she will be joining us here in just a bit for everybody that is watching on YouTube. Uh, so no worries. Everybody else, uh, chat. Uh, how did your week go? How was everything? Uh, did you did anything special or crazy happen this week? I know we had some birthdays going on um, just recently. Um, we had uh, uh, Hoopla had a birthday just recently, as uh, I think it, as as recent as yesterday. Um, week sucked. Oh, that's no good. That's no good. Well, hopefully tonight's stream will make it just that much better. Hmm. You're let beautiful. Me, let, me, let me finish off my uh, my uncle's You're medicine crazy. or grandpa's medicine, <laughs> I guess. Trey, don't lie to the chat. <laughs> Doom says, just gotten tattooed and had a piercing. No biggie. That's fucking awesome. You should definitely uh, uh, post a picture of your new tattoo. That'd be so cool. Oh, I saw it on uh, her Instagram. Ah, see, I, I, oh, I, yeah. I haven't checked Instagram like in a bit. Um, no it's, pretty, it's pretty cute. The fighting tragic. off allergy issues so it has my voice deep as frack right now <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i got i had i had my my first covid shot this week so uh that was a thing um Woo! i was tired as shit for like a couple days uh i hope tonight uh i don't get super tired like i was last po a couple nights but during the game should be just fine uh which brand i got the 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 one with the stuff um the oh. Moderna, that's what it was. Thank you, Zarconic. Moderna, I also got Moderna. Yeah, Moderna. It fucked me up. It fucked me up. <laughs> so. it, it, was, the first one fucked me up. I can't wait to get the second one and be out of commission. Yeah, exactly. The second one for me was worse. I'll be on stream like. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, natural, yeah. Natural one, fuck. <laughs> so, uh, first things first. It is a new month, so unfortunately, Nat April will no longer work for you. Uh, oh, on your uh, on your diehard dice um, uh, diehard dice checkout line, if you will, <laughs> I guess coupon code. Uh, so you can no longer get the ten percent off using the Nat April code. But just uh, but guess what? Guess what? We're coming through again with another ten percent off code, guys. Remember that this ten percent code is a one time use per month code. So don't just go and buy like one set of dice and then go later on and buy like 50 set of dice uh, trying to use that 10% code. Use it whatever you're, you're going to buy in bulk if you're going to buy in bulk. So for May, the code is, guess it, guess what it is. That's right. It is Nat May. Nat May. And you can save 10% off of your order on Die Hard Dice. Um, that includes the brand new sets of dice that just came out recently. Uh, there was actually a couple of brand new sets that literally just came out. Um, they had the Mythica Dark Art set, which is like a purple and gold and black set. Uh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome stuff. That gold is like shiny, shiny gold. Uh, and then they had the Dracona, excuse me. Then they had the Dracona Chaos Lunar Ab Abyss set. That's a mouthful. Dracona Chaos Lunar Abyss set, which is literally just like a super chromatic purple and blue, so it's sick. It is super sick. Um, but all of those are like super cool metal dragon scale. Yeah, super awesome stuff. Uh, so if you're gonna want to, if you want to save ten percent off, like I said, Nat May, and you get yourself uh, a set of Die Hard dice. I will say that there is a set that you can order in the month of May that is out there to support Nat One Fun. And that set is the Hydra set. Uh, so if you feel like hailing Hydra, you can do so with this set or, you know, fighting off a, uh, there we go, post it in chat, uh, or, you know, fighting off a multi-headed lizard Whoa. thing. Uh, I will say right now that this is one of the coolest fucking sets. Oh, Hold on. You know what? I'm gonna fist. That's, 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 that's a transparent core and edges. Mm -hmm. And they're already on sale. And they're on sale. Now I don't know. I'm, I don't know if it stacks, but I'm pretty sure it does. 
I'm pretty sure it goes into the cart as 1275, so you don't have to worry about it being 15. But look at these mamma jammas. Look at these. So I'm not gonna dig through my whole hoard to find the rest, but hey, thank you, Allie. Let's get this real quick out of the way. But here is the set. It has, like, like you were saying, a clear core with painted faces, and it has like this, uh, not, not necessarily ocean blue, blue. It has like literally my background color blue, so it looks almost completely transparent, and it is not being green screened. But you can see it is super awesome. The weight of it has the same weight as like the acrylic dice you are very familiar with. Um, and then the D6 has giant numbers on it so you can see them from oh, those are my favorite. 100 miles away. They, Easy they to read. Do stack. They do stack. So you can they get 10% stack. off of your already, I don't know, what is that? Like 20% off? You get like 30% off these dice or something like that. Right you now, know, if Jolly, you go there. That's a good question, Jolly. And I don't want to talk <laughs> about it. <laughs> I was about to say the, what? what? Alright, so uh, Ladies and gentlemen, you can get the Die Hard Dice set uh, uh, Untamed Hydra Excuse me, right now to support Nat one Fun. if you are into Doing that, you can go there and save 10% Off if you use the code NATMATE And we also have a Another short Video coming your way, probably next week uh, To Highlight the Hydra dice. So hopefully I get everything filmed and edited by then, but it'll be a fun little short video again. Uh, everybody needs to hydrate. Five Actually, days, Jolly Green. <laughs> one second. And five days, Shiny. I'm coming for you, Shiny. <laughs> it would be cool if Twitch implemented a way to speed up your badge. Okay. No, would, and I wouldn't get the microtransactions. Salt. Microtransactions. <laughs> I'd be yeah. a gold dragon already. <laughs> okay, so I had to get some hydrate. <laughs> All right. Like a way to spend points to take away a dragon. <gasps> I take away somebody's Someone. dragon. That would be sick. You trying sick. to incite a riot? <laughs> All I'll right. Stand for it. Uh, so I'm gonna post it here in chat just yes. one more time. You can get that if you want to help support us. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this week. Uh, I oh no, what am I saying, dude? What am I saying? I don't know. I don't know. Dan. Just recently, Jasper's Game Day just came out. By the way, if you're not watching, you de uh, Game Week. By the way, if you're not watching, you absolutely should. Uh, Jasper's Game Week is a mental health awareness and suicide awareness uh, and prevention uh, fundraiser and charity that you guys can support and go hang out. A lot of D&D Beyond uh, streams are taking care of it right now. Um, individuals are also uh, dealing with, um, you know, working with the charity. Uh, well, I just so happened to catch one of the streams last night and they had an awesome charity uh, opportunity where... I could be a part of uh, a stream for uh, for Jasper's game day. Um, and so I, of course, had to jump on the opportunity. And this is a streamed game that will be taking place on the 15th of May. So two weeks from now, it'll be taking place on the 15th of May. And it'll only take place an hour later than we normally start. So literally 20 minutes from now is when we would actually be starting the other game. Um, and it's a seat with, you probably have heard her, Tanya Cypher DePass. Uh, she goes by uh, Cypher, yeah, uh, it's like Cypher of Tear. I believe it's Cypher of Tear on Twitter. Uh, she's an activist. She's a wonderful Black Lives Matter movement, uh, you know, activist and and talks about getting, uh, you know, 
different races involved in, in gaming and media and everything like that. And it's she's just a wonderful human being and she does some amazing work in the D&D and TTRPG community. So uh, we will be, uh, we have purchased a seat in that game. It is a 20th level one shot. So what we are going to be doing is I'm going to be holding uh, next week because it's not happening for the next two weeks. Next week, you guys will have the opportunity to donate to the uh, to this stream and all the donations that come into the stream will be going towards Gas uh, Jasper's game day. Uh, but you can donate to the stream so you can have uh, you can tell me what class and what uh, race I will be playing for that 20th level one shot. So that way you guys can get involved a little bit and and have a uh, have a little bit of, of fun kind of putting in some money towards the uh, the benefit. So <clears throat> keep an eye out for that. I'll be announcing it on Twitter and Facebook and, and our Discord and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, absolutely amazing. Uh, and I cannot wait to to get started with, you know, creating creating a character and of course uh, helping out with Jasper's game day. Or Jasper's game week. I, I keep it's it started off as Jasper's game day, but it has uh, moved on to Jasper's game week because of all the support it's gotten. So, that's pretty much all I have for now. We're going to cut the music for now, and we are going to move on. Uh, do any, any of you guys have anything else before we get started? All right, lovely. So, let's go ahead and get started. got people slapping up stickers <laughs> as, as soon as the intro is rolling that's awesome that's what it's there for all right so last we left off chat <laughs> uh our adventuring team had just made it back to uh east haven um as they had gotten word uh from trovis that uh not all um is actually as it uh should be Ah, Toralix, thank you for the 500 bits. Already, guys, on their way to starting a hype train with two stickers and bits. Um, so, coming from East Haven, or going to East Haven, because Trovis had stated that there was something going on. Good Lord. Um, they cross over Kyr Dineval and make their way straight to East Haven. Upon entering East Haven, they get to the town hall and note that there are many guards standing outside and wondering why uh, the team is just now getting there. Um, it turns out that the town had fallen under a bit of a sickness. Anybody who had recently drank from the cauldron uh, had been getting sick due to some sort of poison or some sort of um, disease. Something is, is amiss. Uh, but luckily, as the team goes in and seeing that, of course, uh, our... Um, beloved uh, Daneth Whalen is actually sick himself. Grimly goes over and heals him using his paladin-like abilities. Um, in doing so, he immediately calls upon the rest of the sick members of town, which is upwards of 20 people, and makes their way, uh, makes them, gathers them all together in the town hall. Uh, Grimly 
uh, asks to see the most sick uh, individual to make sure that they get cured first. But unfortunately, with his abilities, uh, he is only able to cure a couple people at a time. Uh, and that sets off a bit of a bit of mm, not so pleasantness between people who want to get healed right now. <clears throat> guy's gonna break him that's broken he's done you've, you've he's broken broke. him already him. Uh, concentrate uh let me okay i'm gonna finish this <laughs> concentration check down deep breath <laughs> you failed. <laughs> Hold uh we were everybody was sick. Some people Healing were people. Uh, Yep. Uh Grimly healed a grandma. Mm hmm Kobolds. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Leadin may or yep. may not have finally used her. <laughs> Leadin about pops up out of nowhere. Um <laughs> Okay. Um What's her name? Velany. Velany. Okay, so uh, let let's let's cut, let's cut. We're gonna cut. All right, and and then three, two, one, action. All right, so uh, they were sick, and as Grimly went to go to heal them, he was running out of spell slots for the day, causing a bit of commotion between the people who wanted to be healed then. And the ones he was able to heal immediately. Uh, luckily, Leoden was able to play uh, a wonderful song and enthrall a large group of uh, insiders uh, in order to keep them from causing any trouble while Grimly was trying to um, tell them that he could only heal so many a day. Luckily, uh, there was, of course, Leoden to help solve this, uh, you know, solve this problem. But also a strange, uh, a strange person appeared as a, a, an older female with white hair, uh, a long coat, an eye patch, and two, or I'm sorry, three uh, kobold uh, familiars, basically three kobold friends that follow her around. Uh, her name was Velany, and as Velany uh, came to the... Um, uh, the library, uh, Kin Rava was able to spot her out um, before even meeting up with the rest of the group, um, kind of giving a description of a strange woman wandering around town. Uh, but as the group finishes this all off, they go to the store to try and pick up any kind of goods they may need, and they try to figure out what they want to do next. They, of course, have the map. They might want to go to uh, where Grimly had, you know, found out some information. They were trying to go back to uh, Bryn Shander, all kinds of stuff. And just as they had created a, um, they had, shut the fuck up. Stop. Go away. Um. So, uh, they go to, they, uh, hmm. okay. <laughs> we go I can't, to the town speakers I can't hall. do it. Yes, they go back to the town speakers hall because Ken Rava was actually able to, uh, make a, uh, some, something, somewhat of a potion to help, uh, cure, um, uh, the paralysis or the, the stone-like form of Imdra. Uh, and in order to go have it delivered, they were just going to send off an owl to do, uh, to do the dirty work, basically a, a, a sending pigeon in order to do so. Um, as they make their way back to the town, though, Velany is uh, there talking with uh, the town speaker. Uh, they find out that she has some pressing information that the team needs to know. Uh, and it seems that the dark dwarves or the Duragar that were uh, have been a staple of of so far in our story uh, are pressing forward with what seems to be some strange uh, 
coup or attack on 10 towns. Something is going down and the team is needed to stop it. Uh, they're going to do their best to try and get to 10 towns to work together. Um, but for now, it seems that the team is uh, absolutely needed in order to stop them before anything uh, might happen soon. So with all that and the pressing matter at hand, the team then takes to their um, uh, their mounts and they make their way south towards the spine of the world. And they, lay, they leave, they exit the city of East Haven or the town of East Haven and make their way into the tundra. And that is where we left off. Whew. Well, I know to turn off alerts during this part next time. We are going over here. Welcome, Leoden. All right. Uh, all right. Do you guys have audio, or am I just deaf? Hello. You're all muted. Okay, you're all muted. All right, cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's put some background stuff on. So you guys make your way out into the tundra. Um, first off, let me say uh, a big thank you. All that stuff was not without uh, notice, as you could tell. Uh, real quick, a Torlix for the 5, Arth for the 10, uh, Falcon for the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, for the extra 5. Then, freaking Hoopla coming in here and says, Happy birthday from me to y'all. Yet again, somebody on their birthday donating money. And then Arth with another fifty dollars that says "Happy Birthday Hoopla." <laughs> so there you go. Um, some incredible stuff. On top of that, Gronk, thank you for the host. Falcon with a five uh, tier one gift gift sub tier or sub bomb. Excuse me. Uh, to Blarg, cops eating donuts. AJ Banderas, Half Weld three sixty five, and the, the Cone Cozen Pie Cozen Pie. Oh, <laughs> the Kon Kone Koneko. There it is, the Koneko Senpai. Uh, and of course, uh, Jubin with the gift sub to Fancy Cramp. So, thank you all for your freaking support. Holy crap. Let's get started with today's campaign. Now, we are a bit behind, uh, but <laughs> we, we have officially started today's episode. <laughs> it is not your fault at all. Believe me, uh, we had a lot of other stuff going on. All right, so uh, what are you guys doing? So as you guys travel out, uh, it is, like I had said, uh, I believe we had said 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. as you guys leave. So 6 p.m., you make your way outside of East Haven. What are you guys doing? I think we're heading in the direction in the map that um, Harpel gave us. Okay. So uh, who is... We need a, a bit of a, um, uh, a marching order, if you will. I'll be in the middle. I don't mind I'm, going first. I'll be second. Because what he doesn't see, I'll see. Okay. So we got Abel and Leoden as you go. Yeah. Uh, Jolly with the gift sub to Stay Purple. Thank you very much, Jolly, for the support. And Stay Purple, welcome. <laughs> so. we'll, have Grimly after, we'll have Grimly after me so he doesn't get left behind by the party. And... Why are we walking? On he's on a he's on a <laughs> axe beak. We are we are all just on axe beaks. The axe beaks might be a bit slow. Just he's got the smallest axe beak. To be fair. That's it. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we'll all have right. ice heart bringing up the real alley. Is that okay. All right. So I need just to move my mic closer. Shit. No, you're good. I'm just I I can adjust. Um, all right, can you guys, uh, is, is the audio okay now? Are we, we back to snuff? Are the low bellowing tones of my voice? You're good. <laughs> all right, uh, cameras are frozen. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Fantastic. Already off to a good start. All right, Chocobo music plays as you ride. So as you guys go, uh, and Abel, you are in the front, Leoden, uh close behind. Uh, Abel, go ahead and roll me. First off, roll me a survival check as you are making your way through the tundra. You, you guys have traveled 
uh, the tundra um, a couple times now. Uh, but this uh, traveling southwards, um, you are making your way first and foremost uh, to a lovely um, set of like mountains that you have not really climbed yet. All right, so go ahead and roll me a survival, please. Yes. That is a eight. Excellent. Because a natural two. I wouldn't <laughs> expect anything more. All right. So, as you uh, roll that eight, <laughs> as you roll that natural two, uh, you make your way through the tundra. You don't see anything. It's It just seems like a, a blanket of snow in front of you, but you do see the silhouettes of the mountains in the distance. Um, this is southwards. This is kind of like opposite of the direction of the... Um, the large uh, green aurora that usually covers the sky. Uh, it usually emanates from the north and makes its way down towards the south. Uh, so at this time, you really are using the your, your sense of direction more than anything, as really the only thing in the sky are, you know, the clouds and a couple of stars that cut through. Um, the cold uh, is biting. It is pretty bad uh, as you make your way south. Uh, because as you make your way south, you note that you're you're uh, getting you know you're going up slowly uh, in elevation, and as you go up in elevation, uh, you are just getting colder and colder. Now, as you guys <clears throat> are making your way this uh, in this direction, um, Leodin uh, Abel is currently kind of like he has stopped his axe beak, and he's just like looking around and, and trying to get his and, and trying to look at the map and like look forward and figure out which one of these mountains corresponds with the map and everything like that. Um, Leodin, you notes that there is a, a bit of a mountain pass that you guys can take up um, through the uh, this smaller bit of mountains. Uh, this smaller bit of mountain leads into the larger uh, mountains. Uh, but first, of course, making your way through this one is absolutely necessary. Uh, so you do see this directly in front of you, and you you note that this is probably the best slash safest way currently to take. Um, I don't know what he's doing, but I think we should go that way. What are you guys doing? Yeah, can, I'm can having you, uh, you see stuff? having a bit of trouble over here. Yeah. I'm just messing with the feathers. <laughs> Owls yeah. don't typically migrate south for the winter. Yeah. Neither the pregnant ladies. How about you, Lidus? Uh, Lidin. Oh. I'm absolutely, uh, I'm sort of, my mind's all over the place right now. Oh, good. all right. I've, yeah, let's go. <laughs> In that case, in that case, ice out. Why don't you go up as well? Since you mentioned you came from the mountains, didn't you? Yes. Okay. So, Abel, as you like realize that you've been holding the map upside down for like a, the past like minute, you kind of like look around to see if anybody sees anything, and they were already past you, and you're like, you take a moment to flip it back <laughs> right side up. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Nope, I'll just sigh. <laughs> oh, just a sigh. Okay. <laughs> just a heavy sigh. Just a heavy sigh. All right. So <clears throat> you uh, you continue through the mountain pass as uh, you make your way upwards. Um, your uh, axe beaks find it quite easy uh, to make it through a lot of these um, t uh, hard to hard to reach areas uh, as as a fa as a matter of fact like at times bounding from one rock to the next to get you higher and higher up this pass until finally it crests up above uh, like the two mountain peaks that that flank it on its left and right and this large mountain pass uh, tops off allowing you to see a bit of a gully like area between what looks like larger mountains in front of you and the backside of this mountain that you just went through. Now, 
That being said, Leoden and Olanu, as you make your way forward through this area, uh, Leoden, you are kind of um, not set uh, nervously, but you see in the distance uh, through a lot of like snow and clouds and everything like that, you see a darker figure uh, that seems to be could either be either be dead uh, or they could be like lying there sleeping or something but there is something that something or somebody uh lying that looks to be like they are prone just on top of a rock or a uh the edge of a cliff side so basically you see them in the distance uh lying there prone a figure you're not exactly sure what it is uh but uh you see now <clears throat> that this figure is uh, either lying prone, dead, or, you know, it, it's about, uh, you'd see this about a hundred feet or so away uh, in the distance. Oh, uh, and it's the direction that we're heading, or is it slightly off? I'm sorry. No, it is. It's kind of like in, in the direct direction that you believe you need to be going. It is. It's mostly just like, just if if this was like a path on a road, it would be just off the road kind of thing. So, um, in in a bit, in probably a fastish bit, we're gonna come up on a person, a thing. It's just right. It's just right there. Can y'all see it? It's just right there. Mm. Maybe we should adjust our course. I mean, but this is Further. the way we're supposed to go. So we can keep our general heading that way, but maybe try and go around this. Oh, all right. As you guys are talking, you see it actually shifting in the snow, like as if it's trying to get closer to the cliffside. Its back is towards you. It looks like its feet are spread almost like in a V. And it's like looks to be sneaking up closer to the edge of the cliff. Yes, you want to try to sneak up? I mean, always. Okay. Let's but, see. all right. Uh, I need the axe beaks here. Oh, yeah. No, they can't sneak. All right. So, so you guys sneaking up? Okay, so Ali, or excuse me, Olanu and uh, Leoden, go ahead and roll me uh, a stealth check, please. Let's, let's use you. I've not used this one a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> so we're going to be really loud, aren't we? <laughs> I got a 17. Okay, 17. Oh, that one. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Is that what the new dice? Oh, yeah. The brand new, beautiful no! betrayers. Oh, no. <laughs> so when you get off your axe speak, the axe speak just like honks really loud. <laughs> All right, so screams. You, yeah. <laughs> like, why do axe speak scream? Uh, you get off your axe speaks and you begin making your way in its general direction. As you guys approach, what you see turns. <laughs> around. Sorry, then that one landed right on, on uh, Seth's face. Uh, as you guys approach, like I said, uh, Leoden and Olanu, the figure clearly either either hears you coming or something or other, but they turn around and face you. And Falcon, let's go ahead. Bring everybody in here. And go ahead and turn on your camera, guys. Oh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what in the world? What just happened? I got so <gasps> scared. <laughs> now the cameras are going to be all... Apart. Oh, the cameras geez. are going to be all jacked How's up. How's it going? <laughs> hey! Give it a second Stop. so I can set everything up. Guys, uh, voice we have... Is incredible. Yeah, it's it's normally not this low, but because allergies, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. 
Wow. Trey, wow. your voice. Okay. <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing. We have a sticker party going on while I fix the cameras. Ooh. Feel free to stick as many stickers on the screen as you want for free. Holy shit. I was not expecting this at all. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody started He's disconnecting. I was like, what the hell is happening? I know. And I was like, wait. What, <laughs> it's what, all falling what? apart. Perfect. This how, is exactly. How, how, was I, how was I disconnected? I wasn't. I was pulled away. Okay. So I will. I don't know. You could do that. Find our friend and place him where he needs to be. It would have been so sad if we didn't stop. That's that's why you were like, make sure you're sitting in the center of your camera. Shut up. This motherfucker. This <laughs> Wait, I, I did not make sure I was so in the middle sneaky. of my camera. No, I had to move you around, but you're good. You're good. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any fancy, you know, back cloth or, you know, background. That's all right. I'm in my closet, Perfect. literally. Me neither. Yeah. So don't worry. Me, me and my really? roommates were in the were in the middle of uh, renovating the downstairs portion of the house we live in. So everything that's was in the living room is now in our rooms and the kitchen, so that we can tile the living room floor. Uh, and I'm so glad I didn't shoot a flurry of arrows at this person. <laughs> wait, 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 Abel, did you I see mean, him? I'm I was passive that. 19. Yes. I'm but. just like I'm in the map. Like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got half the crew where they need to be right now. Go ahead and talk amongst yourself. I'm almost there, guys. Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. Sorry, I'm late. Hello. So this is Falcon. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. It is nice, nice to, to meet you. Yeah. Your actually, voice makes me mad. <laughs> that you were in, and Someone's I don't voice remember what it was. I was watching oh, the Dungeons and Dragons stream. Roll call yes, RP, right? Uh, roll, roll, roll call, call RP. RP. Yep, I play in the uh, game that they stream Wednesday night. I, That's why, because I had a free yep. Wednesday, so I was watching it. Yep. <laughs> um. Nice. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, Nat One Fun's first guest character, hence all the camera bullshittery. Um, but uh, yeah, I plan on doing more of these in the future. Um, this motherfucker. <laughs> I know he's I'm sorry. Y'all sneak, y'all sneak, motherfuckers. Why am I sharing my portrait with Ali? Oh, there we go. Never mind. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm working, I'm I need working. my face to take up more real estate on the stream overlay. Oh, so this is, this is unacceptable. I just can't. I can't do right by these people. <laughs> That's okay. Trey fired me earlier, so. I don't oh, that is true. Here. Trey literally kicked Leodin out of the party <laughs> for being late to the stream. I don't tolerate. I don't tolerate tardiness. Neither do I, so this is real bad. Be like me, just on time. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. literally. You know what, Jared, you make it worry. Everybody's like, where's Brad at? Where's Brad? And Brad literally before, terrifies us every- Brad slides in. He slides in with a beer in his hand like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, y'all came early today. And it's like, bitch, we got one minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got everything set up. My sticker goal is blocking our new friend. Uh, okay, I'm new friend. The deeper voice from now on. Welcome, esteemed guest, says Arth and one thousand bits. Awesome, thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed the sticker party, Cab. Thank you very the uh, for the uh, gift sub to Havoc one one three seven and for all the stickers that were given prior to this, Jubin uh, and Arth as well. So thank you very much. And yeah, as uh, Leodin and Olanu. Make their way forward. They see a, a silver, uh, dr what looks like a dragonborn, uh, white. white dragonborn. Holy the reflections shit. of the the things. It's, it's yeah. You, you think it's a silver dragonborn for just a second, but it's really a white one. Um, what do they see? They see a dragonborn who is standing. As I find my appearance option on here. Um, 
who is about six foot eleven feet tall, who has snow white scales and weighs about two hundred and fifty pounds. Um, he's got a great sword slung over one shoulder, a long bow. Um, at his thighs, he has uh, a throwing axe on each thigh. Um, he's not saying anything yet. He's staring at the uh, individuals who are perhaps trying to sneak up on him. He is trying to <laughs> determine and judge if maybe they are potential foes. <laughs> As you turn around, you basically see <laughs> literally the two... The most badass. The most badass character ever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. two, two individuals. <laughs> yeah, what do you see? The most badass character ever? Yeah. Uh, no. So, well, you I see the two... You, in thank you. That's, that's, that. I, I am hum humbled that you think I'm the most badass character ever. So, uh, you walk... Uh, you, you turn around and you see uh, what looks to be Olanu and... Uh, Leoden just kind of staring blankly at you and realizing that you've been they've been spotted uh what do, what does he see when you approach so um I would have been like trying to walk as quietly as possible up to make sure at, not to surprise any person if there's extra people around and stuff like that but I'm in my standard winter gear my hair is peeking out so you see the furs and then white or then red um and I'm actually doing this to Olanu so she'll come down closer so I can whisper in her ear and go Iceheart what do you think do you think maybe we should try and hook you two up that's what I think we don't know him yet, but that's what I think. All right, I'm glad we agree. What? What? We just no. What? Oh, um, <laughs> fine. It's how fine. Far, don't worry about it. How how far away are they? Uh, as I had said, they're probably closer to like 75 feet by now. Uh, in order to, because okay. they had spotted you at 100, but then you get an inkling or something. You, you have your spider senses tingling. Something cause you to turn around. The axe beak screams. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. May I make an attempt to try and hear what they're saying? Uh, what's your <laughs> passive perception? My passive perception is a 10. Okay, so go ahead and roll a regular perception check to attempt to, f like, from after seeing them. 13. Not much 13. better. But. So, yeah, you, you have a trouble, like, really defining what they're saying as they're still 75 feet away the wind is blowing hard yeah. the snow is falling uh and it's difficult to attain or ascertain what they're actually saying uh but it looks to as you see these two you look up and just at the top of the hill cresting over the large pass that they just came through uh you see three individuals holding on to two other axe beaks um just kind of silhouetted uh up above he slowly starts to unsling his bow, unsure of what's going on, and he is now holding the bow pointed down with an arrow knocked, and he says, What is your purpose here? Well, we were going to destroy some Duragar, and I'm going to, like, reach and grab her hand and pull her <laughs> But I was a little worried that you might be dead, because you're just laying on a rock inch and I just saw you inch towards the cliff so I was worried also I'm gonna pull her hand back down again because uh. I figured this is happening several times so what I thought what? no it's fine you're fast so I just was worried about you hmm I appreciate that I am well um my he... name's Leoden. This is my friend Iceheart. She's big like you. Hi. What's your name? My name is Brom. It is a pleasure to meet you. Oh my god. Would, would you like to meet 
the rest of them just I a think, second. I think Abel has a crush. <laughs> So she calls off into the distance to you guys. She just replaced me in the stream. <laughs> the coolest character ever. Do you want me to fuck? Can Robert just calls back? Do I need to fireball it? No. 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 <laughs> and don't Air knock yet. either. The arrows starts to come back. <laughs> no, 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 it was mostly a joke. Leodin comes joke. like charging up to try and like block the arrow and swings her arms in the air. He points it back down. You, it, it, she's a drow. She's got a weird sense of humor. Jokes fall flat with her all the time. She, that wasn't a joke. I thought it was pretty funny. No, it, it, it it was a, it was one of her jokes, but we don't want her to cast fireball yeah. on anyone right now. Which is why it was funny. <laughs> you you three up top just see some like arguing and like talking, and it looks like Rob's about to shoot the shit out of Leodin or something. You know, not sure exactly. I'll uh, stop. I'll wave them it. forward. I'll yes. realize. I'll look up from the map. Realize that Leodin and Alanu <laughs> aren't with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Abel, Abel, like, is reading the map, brings the map down and says, So, Leodin, I... And then's like, looking looking around. And then I'll ride Big Bird down. Okay. Right on down. Grim? I'll, you yeah, joining? I'll just wave Abel to catch up while I'm riding down. <laughs> okay. Hey, Loch Ness, able to catch us live. Nice. Here. I'm pulling... Their act speaks along with me. Okay, perfect. So bringing it up, everybody starts to kind of pull on up to uh, to Brom. So what are you Hello doing there. up here anyway? Um, I actually appear to have missed the they it didn't save. Oh, a chunk no. of the information I needed. <laughs> okay. Well, that is most so unfortunate. So it looks like the so, DM and our new player are gonna go into a side room, and we're gonna. No. Not kidding. I, I know. I know roughly what I why I'm here. It's just it appears that D and D Beyond's glorious character creator uh, <laughs> did not save about four paragraphs of information. Oh no. my god! Ouch. So Sweet. all I've got is. I have been sent by my the shaman of my tribe, I believe you would refer to them as clerics, to retrieve an artifact from of our tribe that is in there. And he points over his shoulder to the cave. I'm trying to find all the information. <laughs> all right. Well, what, while you're what, finding all the information. Okay. Got it. Oh, okay. Perfect. Um, there's a inactive artifact in there that belongs to my tribe that was stolen um it's an artifact of the god asgorath um and they really should not have it that it's somewhere in this cave of these berserkers but um I've been trying to figure out a way to get in there, retrieve the artifact, and get out. Um, as it's not particularly safe. I will jump down off of the yeah, axe speak. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll do anything that sounds like it's going to lead us into a nice fight. Said berserkers, right? Yes. They're pretty tough in a fight. You... We do need to pass but, through here. There. By chance, who are you? Oh. Yeah, I'm walking up. I'm Leodin. This is Ice Heart. The little one there is Grimly. The one that's slightly taller is Kinrava. The other one that's just that's joining nice. us is Abel. We are a party of adventurers called the Winter's Inn. 
technically they're about you 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 as position. you say that last little bit you see um brahm's eyes squint slightly and his head tilts and he goes what was that again you're the what when party of adventurers we call ourselves the winter's end you hear fanfare off in the distance for no reason <laughs> <laughs> Well, that makes more sense. Um, for my shaman sent me out with the, the words, the parting words of, you must go and brave this task alone, but fear not for you shall find aid at winter's end. Return the artifact before grave peril falls to all. So if you are indeed winter's end, I would be most honored to have your aid. I think most of us would be happy to help. Besides the artifact, is there anything else in the cave you would be object to us actually procuring? No. <gasps> Let's go. I have I have come primarily for the artifact, but if other items and or riches await within, as long as I'm offered a small little share, I'm fine with that. Sounds good to me then. You know, awkward question, I've got to ask. Do you know a dragonborn called Tr Trovus? I do not know. Do I know this individual? I don't all know each other. She's from the Underdark. Drow dude? Things are different uh, in the Underdark. Actually, with a, with a 20 history, have I ever heard of this individual? <laughs> Did you just roll a 20, hist like a dirty 20? I rolled... I rolled a 16 with a plus four for history. Long ago, a an individual <laughs> uh, named Trovis Dragon Man uh, left his tribe. <laughs> uh, you have heard of another uh, Dragonborn uh, that has made its his way to Ten Towns and uh, has decided to basically not necessarily avoid you guys, but kind of uh, make sure make sure to distance himself uh, from the the tribe that you are currently from um, it's mainly because he was born and raised in a different um, in a different you know way he was born and raised uh, in in the sword coast and uh, not very nomadic and everything like that and uh, he finds that your tribe uh, has tried to reach out to him um, from a, a couple of times, but uh, he has made it very clear that he uh, is trying to live his own life in Ten Towns. As, so as she is um, saying that, I go, actually, yes, my tribe has reached out to him many times, offering him a place, but uh, he doesn't seem interested in joining us and wishes to be left well enough alone. Why do you ask? You oh, I'm actually, I'm, actually, I'm actually just aware of who he is, so I was just curious if anyone else I, was aware. L let me clarify. I know of him. I may have possibly seen him once or twice, but do I know him on the personal level? No, I do not. Fair enough, then. Just curious. Regardless, we do have means to go through this cavern, and you seem to need help. I'm happy to assist. If only we had some of the healing spells left. That would make things so much easier. Speaking of other dangers besides berserkers in that cave, um, the artifact I'm looking for is, a, and he holds his two fists together. He goes, <clears throat> It's about this, it's a sphere about the size of, well, this. And he says it's, um, it looks to be made of onyx with topaz to look like the eye of a dragon. I would recommend not touching it, regardless if it's been activated or not, because it, it does things, not good things. Okay, but now you've got me interested. Yeah. What it, do? He means don't poke the big shiny things. I know, yes. but I want to know what it does. 
various Hopefully. things. Um, one guy picked it up and turned into a pile of goo on the floor. Don't touch uh, it. Um, another guy turned into a frozen popsicle. Um, there was one that burst into flames. There did, was. Did anybody write these stories down? Like, is there someone telling these tales? Within our tribe, yes. We try to keep it secret. We do not wish people coming to gawk at it. I mean, that's why I'm here now. Somebody found out about it and stole it. All right, that's fine. I won't try and get more information. All right, then. How about this? If you seek more information, you would have to talk to my, the shaman of my tribe. She is the only one that can grant that information. In that case, then, no since we are, since we're passing through this region, I, we may as well lend some aid. We may even find some um, useful baubles inside, and then if we are a little bit beaten up, we can take a short, well, we can take a rest then, and then we can head towards the Durgar Fortress in the morning. Uh, if you need a rest, I have my campsite, you know, about 250 yards that way. How about if we deal with the berserkers first? Yeah. Sounds I'll, uh, fine with me. I'll step forward and reach my hand out towards him for a handshake. He'll eye it for a moment, and then he'll reach out and shake your, your hand Com with his Completely claw. envelop my hand with your <laughs> giant ass claw. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Abel Elias. I missed yours. Brom, pleasure to meet you. Indeed. You seem well armed. Looks down at his long sword is over his shoulder at his great sword, his axes and his bow, and goes, "Yep, a warrior oh. and protector of the tribe must be well armed at all times." What does his longbow look like? Um, et it's just it's your standard longbow, but it does have etchings that look like various dragons have been carved into it. But it's, it's not magical by any means. It's just your standard longbow. It's a fine bow you have there, bro. Thank you. Don't mind him. He's slowly would turning be, into an outfit. Would be a shame if you were to lose it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> would be a shame He's... if you lost your spleen, little man. Oh, don't ever me. call. Don't call me a little man. <laughs> don't worry. He is. Don't worry. He's. He's. A, he's a good person. Don't mind the feathers. Yeah, oh, yeah, Brom. Fucking feathers. Yeah, Brom. You would notice that as Abel approaches you, um, unlike uh, the various humans that you may have met along your journeys, uh, you see that uh, instead of a, a line of hair up uh, on the top of his head, he actually has a line of feathers that are folded back currently and placed and tucked up underneath his um, his cowl. I can see I just, you looking. I Don't just ask. pull. I pull the hood <laughs> further up as I see him looking directly, looking down at my face. Because yeah, he has to do one of these to like look up underneath it. Basically, <laughs> he's like as he's he's uh, as he's holding your hand with one hand, he reaches out his other one and slowly starts to lift it up and goes, "What unfortunate circumstances have befallen you?" I'll reach for the hood and pull it back down slightly. It's some sort of evil I magic. Turning me into some sort of beast. You won't let me cut it off. Well, because you want to cut off his finger, not the feathers. I could do either, so that would be a very unfortunate haircut. Well, perhaps after you finish your task after this, maybe swing by my tribe. My shaman might be able to help. I may just take you up on that offer, Brom. I we look forward to do. seeing you at work. We certainly Shall do. we uh, go in and slay some fools who uh, steal things that aren't theirs and claim all their riches back then? Sounds, Sounds wonderful good. to me. All right. Yes. 
So, as you guys gather on the precipice or the top of this cliffside, you see that there is a bit of a trail that kind of leads down into uh, this gully um, system. And on that note, uh, Nat One of Fun is also proud to present another bit of camera resorting um, as we move <laughs> on to our battle scene. Oh, oh Leodon, you missed this. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. So, we are going to oh, first off <gasps> take this off, and then we are going to screen share. Let's see if this works. Everybody's camera's gonna freeze. Yep, give it a second. Everything looks fine. There we go. All right, everybody should be able to see the screen share. And then we move back to the actual stream so I can start moving cameras around. All right, so. Uh, oh my god, my head has been split in half. <laughs> no, take, no. take this opportunity to talk amongst yourselves as I get things situated. Man, you just came on here and just showed us all there up. Was something I was gonna do. <laughs> also, you sneaky, sneaky person, when I asked what the scary person behind everyone I know. was. <laughs> My next character is going to be a seven foot tall dragonborn. And then you'll be a mono type. With the, with the deeper voice. <laughs> Good luck Bruh. with that one. Oh god, I have, I have digital alteration I can do. Yes, while you could digitalize your voice, this is natural. <laughs> do me a favor, say... You That's are the one. one true king. <laughs> you are the one true king. God, can you just like read to me every night before bed? I'll tell you what. You you want to pay me? I will read you darn near whatever you want. <laughs> remember, remember, remember who you are. Who you are. <laughs> Steamba. <laughs> That'd be totally awesome for audiobooks. <laughs> Just every yeah. fantasy novel. <laughs> I, I do have friends and family that tell me I should get into voice acting, and I'm like, but then it becomes a job. And <laughs> once it becomes a job, then you hate your talent. And I, I enjoy doing it for the sake of doing it and having fun. Like, <clears throat> <clears throat> don't forget to bring a towel. Oh, Jesus. Uh, That's awesome. <laughs> what? God damn it, Falcon. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. All right. And then uh, we got. Halfway there, ladies and gentlemen. Halfway there. <laughs> We're doing so much <laughs> We're doing so much experimental stuff here right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It'll look awesome, though. <laughs> I promise. Amazing. <laughs> everything that you're seeing now will look awesome here in a few minutes. <laughs> I promise, guys. I promise it'll be good. <laughs> it just takes a little bit of trust. Famous last words does. before the rocks fall and everyone dies. Dan's <laughs> mm. computer is going to crash. That's what I'm hoping for. It's just a straight up fuck you crash right <laughs> after I do all this shit. <laughs> yep. That'd be the best thing. I am just waiting. Do, 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 do. Oh you God. have unlocked. The computer crash. <laughs> <laughs> the best materia. Mm -hmm. I can do Scooby Doo voice. Really? I <clears throat> hear that sometime, Arth. Okay, like let's see. Yes, please, Brad please do. En enlighten <laughs> us. Sh share this Scooby Doo <laughs> voice. I do a pretty good Shaggy. Okay. Like, yeah. holy, <laughs> oh, wait, <man. laughs> holy shit! That was really good. Let's you get out of here, Scoop. <laughs> You oh, look missing. like Shaggy too. Next character. <laughs> missing Allie. Damn. Where'd you go, Allie? I can do various pitches of my own voice. <laughs> you can do various pitches. 
<laughs> I know that feeling. I, know I that can feeling. do a slightly higher tray and a slightly lower tray. Allie, where the fuck did your camera go? I'm country invisible. Accident? Damn it, I think I just deleted Allie's camera. Really bad British. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Not good. We're just gonna add. I also can do a really bad British, oh, but I can also do a pretty good British. And there goes the scream. It lagged. Oh, there goes. Oh, it no. buffered back in. Oh, no. It, it buffered back in. Okay. Oh, and it's all weird now. Oh, no. What happened? Mm -hmm. Did my game freak out or whatever? What happened? It's got us in the wrong slots. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 there it goes. Fix itself. Oh, yeah, there. we just need Ali's picture now. Yep, yep, I'm still invisible. I am working on it. That would be the best. A Goliath rogue. <laughs> I walk up and I pit pocket him. He notices <laughs> your tall giant three hundred pounds. He's, he notices your finger slide into his pocket to retrieve his coin pouch. I gently take my other hand as he is looking at my finger in his pocket, and I clamp it over his skull and I go, whisper you. deeply into his ear, "You see nothing." <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, let it happen. Pure, pure charisma rogue, intimidation rogue. Intimidation rogue. No, no, you just grab him by the face and just say sneak attack. <laughs> okay, just so. With it. We did a That's thing. My finger. Uh, so, everybody in Discord, can you still see the the game? Yep. Yeah, it's bonk, about bonk, five frames per second, jail. but we can see it. Five frames a second. That's all you need. All right. <laughs> So here, as you can see, uh, we start our adventure. Uh, this is the Cave of the Berserkers. So off in the distance, you can see uh, that there is an opening to the cave. Um, and you need to see also that from above, you have a bit of a pathway to get there. And it looks uh, to be about 20 foot drop off on either ends of said pathway. This pathway looks to be hewn almost as if it was carved uh, purposely not necessarily naturally um, and you can see uh, just off in the distance that the cave there is open so uh, I need a marching order how are you guys approaching the cavern entrance um, I guess I vision? I have more than dark vision so yes. <laughs> Not very far, but I do have something slightly better than dark vision. I'll go second then, since I've also got pretty damn good dark vision. I better have good dark vision as a goddamn drow. Yeah, 120 yeah. feet. So yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll go second. Here. Drow, you want to go first then? <laughs> a wizard wants to go first? I don't know. Oh. I, that's I, you guys Fireball. are talking. So, Fireball. Let me let me clarify this. I do not have dark vision. I have a 10 foot radius of blind sight. Oh. I'll go second. Ah, I know to whoever's you are going now. first. Who's going first? Why doesn't our new friend lead the way since he's more familiar with this area? In, indeed, I, I'll uh, take the lead. Okay. Are we I'll trying to move? I'll, I'll try to be stealthy just because no sense of kicking the hornet's nest any earlier than possible. How important is it that we move silently? I am going yeah. to cast invisibility on myself. <laughs> Hopefully everyone's stealth is better than mine with an eight. Oh, and I'm also going to cast mage armor as well before I cast invisibility. So. Okay. I was going to say I walk behind Kenrava, but I just walk into her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wish they had invisibility. Unfortunately, they don't just yet. So um, I will don't just worry. annotate that you are invisible with uh, your flying now. Okay, okay. Yep, I am invisible. Nice. <laughs> uh, you're, that's how, cool. how stealthy are we trying to be? Well, never mind. Uh, um, <clears throat> as stealthy as possible. The, so we're trying to get a surprise. Yes. Okay. okay. So uh, my if, ideal goal would be to get in and get out undetected, but let's be honest: we, as as skilled adventurers, know that that's 
never gonna happen. Yeah. Um, Shinra invisible, but her eyes are just slowly turning towards Leoden right now. <laughs> she's invisible, but she's still doing it. <laughs> um. All right. So, are you guys? You guys are sneaking in. So, I need a stealth check from everybody as a group. Stealth check, please. Before we roll those. Yes. I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace. Okay. Nice. Oh, that thank would God. Give me, so, that would give me an 18 instead of an 8. Yeah, Pass Without a Trace, uh, since it is the first time that it is being used uh, mm -hmm. in our campaign. Uh, it is a plus 10 to your stealth check, so go ahead and add your modifiers and then add plus 10 to it. Uh, Abel, what does it look like when you cast Pass Without a Trace on our group here? Um, I'll sort of roll up the map and sort of tuck it away. And um, is it especially windy or anything right now? Would you like it to be? It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's particularly windy just because it was difficult to hear earlier because of it. Okay, um, I'll sort of close my eyes for a second and crouch low to the ground. Um, and I'll sort of uh, center myself and the sound of the wind around me sort of goes away. Um, I focus on uh, just the face of Lena, and uh, as that happens, uh, as we step, the actual footsteps behind us don't leave any tracks in the snow, and um, there's a little bit of snowfall that covers each of us that almost camouflages us uh, as we proceed forward. That's it. So, your footsteps the, uh... be become lighter in the snow as you realize that you are no longer leaving tracks behind as you move forward. Brom will stow his um, longbow and on, uh, yank out his uh, greatsword. And uh, we'll slowly start proceeding down the path. Awesome. Uh, in, in a second, Torlix, thank you very much for the 500. Arth, thank you for the 500. I appreciate it. Uh, let's go down the line. Uh, Brad, what did you roll on your cell check with the plus 10? I rolled a nat 1. Oh, no. God. <laughs> so an 11. No, I get a plus 2, so 13. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 13. Blank, blank, blank. All right. Uh, uh, Ali, <laughs> Olanu, what do you uh, got? 22. Nice. Lead in. 33. Jesus. Ah. Holy shit. Brum. Good. Uh, 18. Uh, uh, Abel. 35. Holy. And uh, Kin. Yeah, 20, 28. Okay, so even with a 13, Doesn't... you guys are rocking like above an average of wait, 20. Do I, wait, do I get advantage because invisible? Yep. I thought invisible. Oh, sure. Wow. Oh. Nice. Why not? Now you're invisible and you don't leave any tracks in the You nah, literally are. Yeah, you're was, literally. That was on that one. I was on that one. I think the 28. I think the 28. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, as if you were actually flying, you are just gone from existence in this area. No footprints, no nothing. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, actually, if he is within 10 feet of me, I know where he is. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So uh, as you oh, turn shit. invisible, yeah, as you turn invisible and everything like that, uh, you kind of encroach upon him just ever so close, like tightly just to kind of look over his shoulder and whatever he's doing. And he just slowly turns around and like looks you directly in the eyes. I go, cute trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, I'm full of them. Oh, this is the coolest character ever. All right, and <laughs> at this point, you guys move forward. So uh, we're going to move Brom first, then we'll move the rest of the group. You make your way across this, what looks to be kind of treacherous area here, until you reach right, right about here. Boink, 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 boink. <laughs> and Is he, he just starts skipping. <laughs> yeah, he's all badass, and then all of a sudden starts skipping. You guys see the way he's... Uh... I'm a lumberjack, uh. and I work all day, <laughs> night, and I work all day. Yeah, he starts to hum a wonderful song as you guys all make your way forward. As you guys make your way forward, I need Brom, since you are in front, uh, first off, and uh, Kin, since you are also in front. Both of you, please roll me a perception check. What? 
Let's see. What's that chip? Name? I got a four. <laughs> <laughs> so if if my passive is is optional a ten. Sure, your passive well, always, you know, takes place if uh yeah. But uh go ahead, what's what you got, so Ken? I roll a sixteen and I got a plus four to my percep no plus five to my perception. Sixteen. So twenty one. Alright. So as you guys are making your way forward, Brom, you quietly uh make your way across the uh the path here. Uh, and as you guys are making your way across this path, uh, Ken, you take note of the entire area around you. Uh, and one of the things that you notice that uh, surprises you um, is that not only are you guys headed towards this cave that looks very crazy from this point of view uh, currently, but you look to your right and you see a large wall of stone. But you notice that in this wall of stone, there seems to be an opening here as well. Uh, and let's see how I can do this. Perfect. Uh, you see a small hole that leads into the caverns. Um, but you could... Uh, this one seems to be a course, like, a, like you can see here, across a large gap. Uh, and also, of course, uh, not along the path. So there is a hole over there in the in the mountains, uh, but there's also, of course, the mouth uh, that leads into this cave. Kinrava will just, since he's got blind sight, she's going to briefly point up in the direction towards the hole and just say, "There is a second entrance, but it's a little bit of a ways to get up there." <laughs> Who's the lightest character? Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, probably probably Lee, then. Yeah, that's oh, actually Kenrava, me. Yeah. That's actually me. Have you ever wanted to fly? <laughs> I can help. I'm going. Oh, I do. I've yes. Oh no, no! I know what's coming. Rom starts pulling out a rope and just undoing <laughs> lengths of it. Come here, we will make you fly. Oh no. Ken Rafa's gonna go over and just. Uh. Okay. And he's gonna uh, start tying a rope around an invisible well, well, tie, a, tie the rope around his waist and then just yeet him. <laughs> All right. Well, considering this gap is gigantic, I would say that yeah. uh, you're looking at a like. 45 to 50 foot toss uh, So you're probably not gonna make it across Is Olanu helping or? Uh, even with Olanu's I... help you're not tossing a human being or a, a uh, Humanoid character 60 feet Like a fucking yeah, lawn dart let's, 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 Yeah, let's get a little closer as, as funny as it would be to accidentally dunk somebody into the freezing water below we do have climbing gear. We could perhaps scale the side. I can levitate all of you up there for God's sake. Oh, well, that just takes all the fun earlier, out of it. You could have said that like 30 seconds ago. Brom starts rolling the coils of his rope back up. Uh. <laughs> okay. What are you guys doing? You guys continuing into the mouth, or are you wanting to check out this hole in the side of the mountain? Hole in the side of the mountain. I'm oh, letting yes. them decide. I'm letting them decide and just helping. Yeah, Let's can, check out the hole. There? If it's a side passage in that would keep us out of the, you know, the the main brunt of it. The, the, fa the easier and faster we can get in, grab the item, and get back out, and you guys can grab whatever bits and bubbles you want, you know, the better. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Ken, you said you have something that would help here? What are you doing? Um, can we get over to there right now? Like, I can't really see the map anymore, but can we actually, like, safely climb down and then head over towards that area? Uh, climbing down and over towards the era, uh, area, you see, you look down, and there is a, 
uh, a bit of freezing water below you uh, that turns into ice beyond uh, and a 20 foot drop without climbing gear to get down and then somehow to get across the water uh, and some way to get um, back up to the mountain with more climbing gear and stuff like that. Uh, you're looking at a tenuous travel. I can get us up there, but I can't get us, you know, down or across that water, unfortunately. Should we continue on the path to see if there's a closer way? Yeah, let's let's continue the path, and then when we get closer, we can anchor. Hold on, let me just quickly let me just quickly test look something over first. What you got? I can cast, closer to the. I can cast levitate. And then you can throw me, because apparently I can't move on my own, but being thrown still lets me move like that, apparently. I think that we'll be able to get across at a later point, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's not. Let's not do that. I want to we'll live. just give you the rope. We could anchor at one end of the rope to each side and... <laughs> Abel, did, you, did you have something? You're muted, by the way, Trey. Yeah. What happened? I said, did you have something? I saw you kind of raising your hand in the middle of, of oh, all that. No, I thought I did, but I'm dumb. Okay. Uh, I one like second. that I'm idea. Let me try something. Let's just get closer then first, and I can levitate. Okay, I should not have tried cliff. something. <laughs> if we get closer, I can levitate us up the cliff. All right. So, you guys can continue on along the path here. Uh, the path uh, just seems to kind of wind around until uh, it reaches the side of the mountain, and uh, the side of the mountain seems to be quite icy and treacherous, but you're able to uh, make your way until finally uh, met with the front entrance way of this, uh, what looks to be a wooden structure of uh, a bear's face. Uh, very crude, of course, in its construction, um, but it is man-made, it looks to be, um, as this, the wood seems to be frozen, uh, so much so that uh, it has uh, been here long enough uh, that it started to decay just a little bit. Um, is it just me, or does this look like a face of a bear to you? What's a bear? I don't know what a bear is. Four-legged fuzzy creature, very big, sometimes white, sometimes brown, sometimes black. Oh, those. Ah, fair enough. Close. They even made a little story about him, you know, fuzzy was he was a bear, etc., etc., etc. But that would have had no hair. <laughs> that is very true. He was cursed, much like your companion with the feathers. I'm starting to think I'm cursed some days. Okay, well. We know. <laughs> Uh, the cave beyond seems to be um, darkened, uh, and there does not seem to be any kind of natural light that kind of leaks into the area. Not too much, at least, through the mouth there. So beyond this area seems to be a little bit dark. But uh, other than that... Do, do uh, I see anything with my 120-foot dark vision? Uh, I mean, yeah, you see into the cave. It leads to a path that leads kind of down... or I'm sorry, upwards a little bit, like a five-foot ramp that up uh, leads up, but you can't see any, anything about beyond that due to, like, line of sight. That okay. gap to our right, about how wide across is that? Uh, you're looking at about 10 to 15 feet total, probably no more than 15, we'll see. Yeah, we'll say, we we'll, we'll like round off at 15. Anybody feel like making a jump with some rope? Sure. I have climbing gear, so I can okay. put some put some pittons into the wall and make it a little easier to climb. Okay. So, so are we throwing who... you? No, uh, I want to be thrown. We can uh, we I can wrap my uh tie my ho uh rope around you that way if you miss and you know fall, we can catch you and you don't fall and splatter down below. Oh, that would be kind, because I definitely have almost fallen before. Yeah, Brom awful. pulls out the rope, starts undoing it again, <laughs> starts tying it around her waist. You sure you can make that jump, Leiden? I mean, I've made jumps like this before with my troop. It I've wasn't on you. rock or ice, but I mean, why not? I've almost seen you fall to your death before. Just the once. And then the other times you've seen me be amazing at my acrobatics. 
I'm just gonna hand her some of the climbing gear. What he to be safe. Brom will loop all but 25 feet of the rope around his waist, turn in the opposite direction, dig his t claws into the ice just in case she slips and falls. He doesn't just get yanked over the edge. Yep. Uh, all right. Alana will walk up and kind of grab um, her shoulder. You want me to throw you? Well, can you? I'll try. I'll assist. Yeah. Grab her other shoulder and her waist. Well, yeah, so she should have enough rope to get across, untie it from herself, and then tighten it in. All right. So with all this effort, um, lead in with your eight on your strength score. You're looking at about an eight foot jump that you are able to do by yourself. Uh, but with Grimly and Leod, or I'm sorry, Grimly and Olanu's help, um, you can, are able to probably you are you are able to probably make it across. So are you? Can I you, do an acrobatics instead of strength? To jump? No. You can make an acrobatics to like land on something or you know recover from something, but to actually make the initial jump is more of a strength thing. Okay. Do we want to do that, or do we want to have it so that we're, like, Grimly and I are, like, we each got a handful of your clothing, and we reel back, and we throw you? <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you however you guys want to do it. You you tell me. I mean, what do you lead in? Let, let, let's throw her. Throw me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Like, I don't okay. need to fly. Fast so, Leoden gets Leoden gets picked up. She begins to fly. <laughs> <laughs> you trust me. And uh, not really, with, but let's go. With a do you trust me? Uh, at a very awkward angle because of Olanu's height and Grimly's height, uh, you would kind of feel yourself tilted off to the side a little bit. Uh, it seems like Olanu has like your upper half, and Grimly is like carrying your waist. And it's just gonna shot put you. Uh, and so <clears throat> at this point, Olanu takes you up over her shoulders, grimly shot puts you over his head, and Olanu pushes off underneath your armpits to throw you over top her head, and you go flying until you smack into the wall directly in front of you. Uh, <laughs> I, didn't I need know you. One could splatter on a <laughs> horizontal fall. Uh, I need you to roll uh, a, a strength check to try and uh, slam one of those pittons in to uh, keep you from falling down this cliff's face. Eight. Athletics. Eighteen. Very nice. So you slam into the wall and you take like a a bit of a like. You know, oh, holy shit, that hurt. But then suddenly you slam your arms into the the uh, the wall in front of you and the pittance take take hold and you slide down the wall like a few inches before they finally uh, find place uh, within the, the stone itself. And you are stationary as everybody looks on and sees you. Does <clears throat> it feel as though the pittance are like sturdy and strong in there well i mean with that strength score you not only you know you did uh you were able to grasp onto the pittens and hold yourself up and everything like that but you can take your your pittens and dig them in deeper until they finally find a place where you can get them solidly in yes i would like to do that do i need to do another no 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 i'll say with I... that last strength check you were able to oh. slam them into the wall I'm hanging on to them, correct? I'm not imagining this incorrectly. You, or you have I like one, on like, ledge? nope, you have like one down, one up, kind of like right above you, and your feet are planted on the wall directly in front of you. So you are hanging from them. How far from the top am I? Uh, from the top? Hundreds and hundreds from of feet. This is top. like. From, from the next ledge that I'm trying to get onto. Uh, no ledge. This is like a uh, a oh, okay. ridiculous gotcha. climb upwards. Yeah, it's like a mountain climb directly upwards. That is not exactly what I was seeing, so I just wanted to clarify. 
No problem. Gotcha. Yeah, then this, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a uh, more Tailspire is limited to like a single block, you know, where I just stack them on top of each other kind of thing. I'm glad gotcha. I didn't just run and jump because I yeah. sure thought there was a ledge there. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I was like. What ledge? I thought you said I had a ledge. <laughs> you are gotcha. you are currently uh, cliffhangering it on the on the wall there. That's why. That could have been bad. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Uh, okay, <laughs> I would like to keep climbing up and. Uh, are you just climbing towards the hole, you mean? Or you want to just, like, climb this mountain? <laughs> I mean, towards oh, the yeah. hole. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I figured. Bye, guys. <laughs> Brom, Brom will slowly let the rope uh, tether Kinda out. Kind of, like, feed it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, Leoden, uh, with your, your, your strength score, each and every one of these, like, plants with the... Uh, the pitten takes a lot more time than it should. You're you're having to like really break through a top layer of ice and stone uh, until it finds place. Um, and we'll say that you get to where you need to be, but you are exhausted uh, after having to move just like 40 or 50 feet off of this sheer cliff face. Cliff face. Uh, you are you are tired as shit, uh, and you finally get there, out of breath, and you find this hole in the wall. As you climb and finally get to this hole in the wall, you note that uh, it is some sort of cavern uh, hole-like entrance that uh, takes a turn upwards after a number of feet, uh, about uh, 10 feet inwards. It starts to curve upwards uh, beyond your sight. The area is full of refuse and terrible smelling uh, like rotten meat, uh, so you you smell s like defecation and meat and just nastiness coming from this hole. Guys, it's their sewer. What? <laughs> it's the sewer. Sewer, the sewer, sewer. Um, as you are yelling, I mean, the voices <laughs> echo throughout the the area that you are in. You're in this like valley like uh, area, so you guys are having to yell and scream at each other. As you're yelling, Leoden, you hear the sounds inside through the through the uh, the I don't know the little chute area that you are currently looking through. You hear like. <sighs> This be fun. And can suddenly, I sure, you can peek in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, you can peek in. Uh, you peek in. I the rope. And suddenly, <laughs> as you peek in, a horrifying sight appears. Straight it's a meat monster. at you, coming out of the hole. As you are looking through, tied up in a bit of like a, a, a twirling motion with reptilian like skin, straight through the hole, almost like a luge or, or a slide or something like that. A creature. Large oh, and reptilian. Shit. It's come shooting out of the hole, slamming into the side of you, Leoden, as if you weren't even there, and begins to fly outside of the hole. And Leoden, uh, I need you first off to roll a strength check, uh, a uh, strength saving throw, as you are basically shoved. From your position, looking out of this hole. 16. My God, it's sixteen. Has to be so, with a sixteen, you are able to barely hold on. You get shoved off of the precipice you are standing on, and as you like slip off, like your foot slips off, you fall directly straight down. But you throw the pittons into the wall, and you slide like a foot down, and you try to like climb your way back up. As this happens, this creature comes straight out of the hole, but the sound that emanates from its mouth does not seem to be alone. As you hear from the inside 
of the cavern as well. Another creature, Kin, as you look in its direction, you can clearly see this. Another creature is seems to be like running in your direction and then leaping into the air and tries to fly straight through the opening as another dragon that looks almost identical to the one you look at. This dragon is white all over with glowing blue eyes. And I need everybody so, to roll for initiative. Not, not to alarm everyone, but I think they may have activated the artifact somehow. Cool! This d20? That, that will be a 20. A dirty 20. Yep, give me a second as I set the ambiance here. Right. God damn, Dan. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Also, you uh, motherfucker. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. <laughs> so, uh, as this happens, let's go down, and we'll we'll use we'll use uh, Tailspire for our combat. Um. <clears throat> So first off, let's get everybody's uh, numbers here. Let me apply turn order, get everybody in here. All right, so. Uh, let's go down the line. So, Leoden, what do you got? 19. Uh, Grimly. 21. Kin. Damn, Grimly. 16. Iceheart. 15. Brom. 20. Abel. 22. Excellent. Hey. All right, so now let me roll for our uh, lovely friends, and I will be using the Hydra set today. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> I hate going first. Wish we took a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mister. Oh, I'm going to heal the townspeople because that's so important. <laughs> All right, so... Wait, you wasted resources healing plebeians? <laughs> right? <laughs> they didn't... Uh, they didn't have to do. for Kin, three days doing Ice it. Heart, Brom, and Abel. Were they at least useful plebeians, or were they just the general talentless hacks? Abel's first, wanna... then Grimly, uh, then I don't want to talk about it. Then Leoden, then Kin, <laughs> then Iceheart. Blue eyes, white dragons. It's time to. Do, 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 do. The Don't lowest roll was a 15, eh? Okay. Don't start. Like, I already had, like, a talk with one of my friends about how much times Yugi fucking cheats in that show. <laughs> like, don't even get me started. All right. So, on, on the note of Yu Gi Oh! Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into combat here. So, uh, as you can see, uh, you guys are in a fucking predicament. Um, so yeah, first off, Abel, this all goes down, and you are free to move about the cabin as you wish. Uh, I will show you the distances you're looking at in terms of how far away currently you are from Dragon. 60 feet away from one that is currently flying in the air and in the cavern you're looking at 40 uh 45 feet 60 and 45. holy shit <laughs> eh, we're fine. all right Let's cool it. well it seems like pass without trace won't be of much help so uh first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cast hunter's mark as a bonus action on the one that's flying near leodin Okay, Hunter's Mark on the one that is flying near Leoden. Got it. And then I'm going to shoot three arrows at this guy. Okay. He is Hunter's Ugh. Marked. That is a non-natural 20 on the first one. 
Uh, natural 20 on the first one, I believe, hits. Non, Non-natural 20. Yep. 30, 20. For damage. God damn. 15 points of damage. Ooh. 15 points of damage, not bad. The second attack is a 17 to hit. 17 just hits. Ooh. God damn. That's 16 points of damage. Okay. And then the third and final. <laughs> There's a 26 to hit. Jeez, yes. That's the damage. God damn. What you got? 22 points of damage. Holy, Holy shit. Holy shit. All right. Well, Those are that the, is the best rolls I've ever had. Yep, that is literally 30, 40, 53 points of damage. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, so I just drop to one knee and just, I focus on the one that's near lead and I don't even think he knows about the one that's in the the entrance. Oh, you would and have he definitely shoots. heard him screaming. Okay. He well, is like focus on roaring. Mhm. Uh, the hits go off as arrows fly through the air, uh, and you strike it with your arrows, all three of them, and each one of them striking the dragon flying. Uh, the, the dragon is riddled with these arrows as all three of them come, one right after the other, flying right over, like, Brahm and Kinrava's, uh, like, shoulders. Uh, you still have movement. Would you like to do anything with it? Um, sure, I'll move, uh, if we're using this, I'll, I'll move west about okay. 15, I'm west 20 feet. West 20 feet, you got it. Would you rather be closer to the wall or closer to the edge? Uh, closer to the edge. Okay. Awesome. Next up, Grimly. Um, run away. Shit, 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 shit. Sorry, still trying I to will... work the camera here. Abel moved away. Damn it. Probably Gives you a better sight of the one in front and side. Specialty. Uh, the one currently, uh, flying to you is currently, uh, nearly 60 feet, 55 feet. I'm at Abel. Uh, the one in, 20 feet. oh, I'm sorry, Abel is 30 feet away from you. Okay, perfect. I will cast a bless on all four of us real quick. All Where's four of you being the ones, uh, on, on the ground there. Abel. Abel, myself, Alanu, or Kinrava, and Alanu. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Brom. Oh, Brom. It is all good. You are all blessed. Wait, up to three creatures. It's three, yeah. We'll just okay. do... Who are we leaving out? Myself, Kinrava, and Abel. Okay, Alanu and Brom chilling. The rest of you blessed. Movement bonus. What do you got? As uh, I'm just going to move back about ten feet behind the rest of the group. Okay. To the wall. Ten, fifteen feet, however far that is. You want to go to the wall here? Yes. All Perfect. right. Spread out. This is crazy. Brom. You're up. Brom looks at him as he's casting the bless. Goes, I see how it is. Goes prone in the snow and disappears. <laughs> 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 no. Um, the one that's already out and flying, what's his range from me? From you currently, we are looking at 60 feet. Cool, cool. What's the action for drawing a weapon? Free. I draw my longbow. Okay. Yes. Or I should say I unsling it. I take a bead on the one in the air. 
Yep. And I will uh, fire off two shots. Do it, Brom. Go for it. I can figure out how to... Uh, there we go. Uh, that will be a dirty 20 for the first shot. Hell yes. That works. That hits. And a natural 20 on the Let's second go. shot. Nice. Let's go. For a total of 26. Yeah, nat 20 hits no matter what on, on attack, so you, <laughs> you rock them. All right, okay, so, so you got uh, both hits, and one of them is a crit. That will be... Well, that was just a crappy uh, <laughs> crit roll. What you got? Um, six for the crit and seven for the regular. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I, All right. I, 13 I, points. Unfortunately, Bra Brom knows how to use a bow. Unfortunately, Brom's better off with his greatsword. <laughs> um, Brom is not happy with that, so he would like to go ahead and action surge. Yes. Okay. Pop oh, off cool. two more shots. Sure. That will be a... 12. 12 unfortunately misses. And a 18 to hit. 18 does hit. For an additional 9 points of dablage. <laughs> 9 points on top of it. 9 points of uh, dablage. Yes, dablage. I am dablaging you yeah. with my arrows. All right, I, so I'm you got at the damage. You got some movement. Where would you like to go if you would like to move? Well, I've got one end of that rope tied around my waist. She's got the rope on the round her waist. How long so is I your mean, rope? I believe it's fifty feet, so I might have had to have been at the edge of the. You cliff. are good. You still have about seven feet of rope, kind of just dangling uh, <clears throat> between the two of you. Um. Brom will step a little bit closer to the edge. Okay. Um, and I'm about to break. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh my uh, god. He, <laughs> That's not my joke. And he'll and he will hunker down just in case, you know. You know, he'll he'll take a knee so he's a little closer to the ground. Do you want to go prone? Do you want to set yourself prone, or are you just saying you, you're just kind of he's he's just readying yourself, squatting down? He's yeah, he's he's anchoring himself essentially, yeah. but he's not proning. Okay. Yeah, that's no problem. So, hey, Leodin, you better not die. <laughs> nah. All right. So at this point, uh, we move on to Leodin. My good friend, uh, you are on top of this mountain. This creature looks to be uh, like flapping its wings ev with every stroke that the wings pass by you. Cold wind beats across your face, and like you, you like the snow that has settled upon the mountain that you are currently on is falling upon you uh, like wave after wave. What are you doing? Um, first, I would like to go ahead and. Uh protect my peeps even though I'm far away yep. what's the I don't think I can I think I know which four I'm going to have to pick so I would like to use my mantle of inspiration okay um, I think I can get definitely the three on the cliff's edge what's can your range grimly as well 60, 60. Feet. yes you can get you can get grimly okay so those four uh, can get now get eight temporary hit points and you can move um, you can use your movement as, as your reaction if you would like okay so you eight temporary eight, hit. eight, eight temporary, temporary hit points, points. Mm -hmm. and you can now if you get want leveled up use your reaction to okay. move up to your movement speed for free right now I love mental inspiration. <laughs> uh, so, um, are any would, of you going anywhere? I that. Okay, Ken, where are you going? Can I go back a little bit? Sure. Uh, oh. Where is back? 
Use, uh, well, uh, by the way, while we're using this, use your cardinal directions. There is a compass in the bottom left here. Uh, you can just tell me, like, oh. hey, I want to um, go west, northeast. Can I go west, please? Yeah. You want to use your full movement? Um, can I get between... Actually, I... Um, what we can do also to show you how far you can get with your movement, we can also radius. do this. Yep. Uh, and yeah. you can go anywhere within this bubble. I'd like to go directly diagonal to where that square I am is. Just so I can get like a clear view of that oncoming dragon. Uh, I mean, you have a clear right, view. Okay. You're like directly in the line of it. Oh. In that case, then I'll go 30 feet. Yeah, I'll go 30 feet back to near to where Abel is. Okay. So, yeah, you can get, like, way over here, as a matter of fact. Question. Okay. Are you, you're still invi this... invisible, correct? Yes. Okay. With this new program, are we negating the 5, 15, when you go diagonal? Yes. With this new program, because we have literally rulers to use, you can... You will be negating whatever you need, uh, but this also uh, in includes uh, upward travel. So if you're going to make your way to a wall, for instance, uh, let's say we do something like this, and you need you want to climb up to this this area right here. Uh, your character, let's say your Brom, you move to the f the uh, the base of it, then it'll move you up the wall. Like this, but you have half your movement right. speed when climbing, unless you, of course, have climbing speed, uh, okay. and, and such. So that's basically what it what it what it does. It calculates, you know, three. It can it calculate right. as many movements as you want. Perfect. Uh, so that, can I'm uh, oh, sorry. People who want to move. Sorry. Uh, yeah. No, I yeah. Want to. Okay. Where are you going, Alanu? <laughs> Uh, I am going straight towards the enemy that's in the cave. Okay, yes. that's what I like to hear. All right. Yes. She's built to fight white dragons. Are you are you going 30, <laughs> 30 feet in? You just going full movement? Uh, forty. Forty feet Ooh, in. All right. Level five, baby. Get it. <laughs> All right. I want to smack the butt. <laughs> Olanu can get within <laughs> melee range of this motherfucker. So Inside the cave. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So, okay. to give a better, better view now that she is in the cave, I'll use my movement to go that way too. <laughs> Brom, Brom, and Dra Draconic goes. That's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, Brom. The uh, oh, or, I'm sorry, Grimly. You want to use your movement speed 25. to move towards it? Yes, sir. Okay, 25 will take <laughs> Not you there. Nearly as fast. <laughs> but that'll get you pretty damn close. I mean, you're only like maybe 15 feet away now. Yep. Holy shit, we're fighting dragons. I was gonna reply back in Draconic. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, Brom, did you want to move at all? You have your movement speed if you'd like. It, n no, because the only movement he'd be able to do would be to run and jump off the cliff and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the other wall yeah. and uh, try to catch on to that and hopefully not you could, drag uh, you could always just yank <laughs> Leanne off the cliff that's always an option yeah, as well I, mean, <laughs> I, I don't know how well she could withstand a sudden yeah. you know almost yeah, yeah. instantaneous 500 foot drop <laughs> of a 250 pound weight sure 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 before um, you add on the equipment <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Leoden, everybody has seemed to move. They have gained their bonus hit points. Uh, what oh. are you doing? I would like to cast Dissonant Whispers at the third level. Oh, On that dragon right there. All right. Uh, whisper in my my ear, please. Uh, and I need to make a save. All right. Stop it! Stop actually whispering in my ear! Stop! You're all at disadvantage! Um, alright, so with that uh, wisdom save, that would be a three. Three? 
Mine was One, the 15th, so awesome. All right. Two, Do your three. thing. So since I'm at the third, or yeah, since I'm casting at the third level, I get to roll five d6. Two. That fuck, is fuck, fuck. 21 points of psychic damage. Fuck. Um, and since the dragon failed, it's got to now use its movement to move away from me. Let's go. It doesn't say what direction. It just has to get away from me. Okay, so it has to use its movement speed to do so. Yep. That's far All right. Away so I heard. I heard. I heard. I heard. Dragons are really slow. Um, <laughs> so he immediately is affected by this. He has 80 feet of movement, so we're gonna go. Oh shit! Hell yeah! Here. Bring it on, baby! So <laughs> as uh, Leoden, as this energy emanates from your 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 mouth uh, and just kind of like goes into the little reptilian ears of the beast, you see this, and the creature immediately <laughs> oh, roars out in pain, and you see its wings begin to flap and flutter as it like loses a bit of uh, a bit of like uh, its its flight height. Uh, and immediately just says, fuck this, and runs over here. Uh, you hear anybody that understands fuck Draconic, shit, I'm out. Uh, anybody that hears in Draconic, um, you hear that it yells out uh, for its sibling as it yells out, Tizor! All right, uh, it moves, and it like swoops over Abel and Kinrava, uh, and literally just like hair goes flying backwards uh, uh, the snow that is kicked up around you and it begins to swoop on top of you guys does it ruffle my feathers it <laughs> ruffles your feathers just a bit how long have you been holding on to that one <laughs> I thought of it just now alright Leoden uh, with an excellent uh, turn you still have movement wow 21 so uh I'll anchor the rope. Wait, with, that might be Not next. with your movement, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to stay put, and then I'll... <laughs> she uses it's her now movement away from to me. move her hands like this. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> she does jazz uh, hands. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay falls. where I am. All right, chilling. All right. Straight chilling. Straight chilling. Probably the worst chillin'. idea, but that's what we're going to do. Uh... <laughs> Ken, what are you doing? Kill them all, Ken Rava. Yes. <laughs> um, how close is that white dragon to me? It is currently flapping its wings all but 15 feet ahead, uh, above you. Okay, so it's not within five feet. Okay. Um... In that case, then, I will... Can I move over to where Brom is? Uh, let's see. Movement speed-wise, you got 30. Yeah, you can make it. Yeah. Okay. You gonna be in front, left, or right? Um... Go on the right. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay, um... So, how badly hurt does that dragon look? Uh, I mean, it's taken a lot of damage. Um, it's bloodied. You see that it's bleeding uh, profusely from those arrow wounds, uh, and it is, does not look fucking happy. But it also doesn't right, look then. like it's dying. In that case, then I am going to use an action to become. In, I'm going to use an action to summon Omen, the new flying snake, onto my hand. Okay. I don't Which have flying make... snakes, but I do have snakes that I can make fly. Hell okay. yes. Nicky boy. So uh, he's a little larger than I thought he would be. Big ass snake. But <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make him small. I dodge on him. <laughs> no, no. Um, <laughs> there you go. Now he's tiny. Oh, that's cool. And flying. So, Black Cobra comes out with owl wings. I am going to use my bonus action then to 
cast. Hold on, I got to roll for him actually with my initiative. Yep. Uh, while you do that, are you casting him at a certain distance away from you or right next to you? Right next to me, like okay. within, yep. like within touch range. No problem. And I am going to cast Dragon's Breath on him. He got 12 plus 4. 16? 16. Yeah, yeah, that's 16, yeah. 12 plus 4. Okay. Um, so that's his initiative. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll add him to the initiative on here because you can do that. 16. <laughs> and that puts him... Uh, where the hell would he put that? Put him in the order that is right next to you. Ken, you had a sixteen. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's right. No. Um, true love. So yeah, brown I'm also chicken brown cow. <laughs> I am going to make his damage type acid. Acid damage it is. Okay, and then Kinrava is going to since she's visible now. She's going to say in draconic. Your brother can't help you now. And then just send a snake straight at his face. <laughs> with Omen's movement. Alright, what's uh, Omen's movement? Mo Omen can move 60 feet. Okay, God, where damn. would you where would you want him? He's going to fly right up into the dragon's face. Okay. Oh. Bye, Omen. Hitting a mountain. <laughs> just like, Literally. what's up, bro? <laughs> and right into its mouth. the dragon has to make a dexterity saving throw because he's going to blast acid in his face. <laughs> okay. Spit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it burns so good. <laughs> oh my god. No. Alright, a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> ah, come on! All right, it's a six. <laughs> These dragons haven't rolled above a fucking ten. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, fuck. All right, what are, we, what are you doing with this? You roll. Couldn't help it. Yeah, I rolled a six. That's amazing. Oh, awesome! So he takes full damage. As it's the second level, that is three d six. As he gets acid spat right in his mouth. <laughs> yes, yes he does. That's actually good rolls. That is five, oh. five, three. That's thirteen acid damage to his face. Thirteen acid damage to the face. <laughs> Just sprays black ink acid at his face. All right. The creature, and then, like, backs up and is covered in, with dripping acid as it. Uh, like, uses its arms to scrape at its own face. And then Omen is going to move 30 feet to... He's going to move 30 feet, actually... Oh, cliff. 30 feet where? North. North. Up the cliff. Up the cliff, yep. okay. Uh, this flying business. All right. And we'll say that it's still flying. I just need to get in the right position here. All right, cool. 30 feet up the cliff. Um, okay. The creature is going to take an attack of opportunity against it. Uh, oh, that would be really bad if you didn't have flyby. Oh, yes, flyby, you son of a bitch. All right. The creature... Yes. The dragon is just scraping at its eyes as Omen like spits in its face and runs away. Like the coward he is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Iceheart, you're up. Uh, you are currently in here. Whoa, that was cool. It's like a movie. <laughs> I would like to rage. Yes. All right. <laughs> you are currently raging. I'm going to, you're going to wiggle and you're going to twirl. And you're raging now. <laughs> she just took up some twirls. Uh, I'm going to give you a light as well so we can see a little bit better in here. That's not ominous. Oh, cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> um. 
And what would I'm you like to do? I'm going to attack recklessly. Okay. Uh, for my first attack. Yeah. You're in combat. I know. <laughs> what you got with your reckless? Uh, let's see. Fifteen. Does not hit. With okay. Advantage. And then a second attack. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen just barely hits. Twenty-one. Wait, what? Sorry, sixteen damage. Sixteen damage. Okay. So uh, the creature is I currently like uh, zooming down the hallways as it's like flapping its wings and like shooting through the hallways. And Olani, you just charge straight at it and raise your sword and it deflects one of the swords with one of its claws uh but you i'm sorry one of your axe uh, swings but you do a twist uh with the deflection and come down with another strike uh across its neck and down its chest and um with that i'd actually want to position myself on the opposite side of him okay yeah he flies you by you back, i'm sorry yep no problem so you, you slash into like his, his chest and neck and because he's like flying so fast, he takes the hit and realizes that he's he's being he's under attack. But he flies over you in the meantime and you position yourself behind the creature. Whoa. Alright. That is it. Excellent. Nice. I'm gonna lock this so I can't that doesn't keep doing that. Alright, there we go. Next up, the dragon that you just stroke, like struck with your giant Stroke, axe, broke. stroked, struck. That's a word, right? Struck. <laughs> Sorry about that. My my dog was losing his bloody mind. No worries. No worries. Um, the creature will uh, now see that there he is sandwiched between two uh, smaller beings. Um, and, uh, he is just going to go on a full on fury attack, um, on, uh, Olanu, uh, first off. So Olanu, uh, it's going to make three attacks at you, uh, oh, one with no. its bites and three with its, or two with its claws. Uh, and it is 2d10 and we're going to be rolling in Tailspire as a DM. So, uh, we were going to oh, roll. Hell. The damage here. You reckless, right? Yeah, he has advantage. Oh no. Uh, no. What am I? I'm rolling I'm damage already. Shh, 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 shh. All right. So we gotta roll to hit first. Roll to hit. Roll to hit. Looks like we have an 11 plus. That is an 18 to hit on the first one. Yeah, that hits. Okay, and on the second one. Got a plus seven. I mean, so do I. I mean, I've got a that plus definitely hits. Nine. Oh, yeah, that hits. It's, it's, it's it's cool. I've got a plus. I've got a plus nine with my longbow. Yeah, I've uh, got a plus nine with my great sword. <laughs> so with both of them hitting, that what is. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I still have another attack as well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be uh, its second claw attack. Oh, jeez. All right, uh, that is a 14 to hit. Sweet. Nope. Okay, so two of them do strike, uh, meaning that is a 2d10 plus 2d6. Oh, come on. Are they that different is damage types? 15, yeah, Yikes. piercing and slashing. Okay. Uh, so that is 15, that is plus eight, that is 23 yeah. points of damage. 23 points of damage down to 11 11 and then you take an additional 1d8 of cold damage for a total of 8 cold damage down to 4 so 15 
All right, so the creature goes on full on attack mode, uh, but seeing that it is kind of cramped in this area, will attempt to run away. Sentinel. Yep, you can attempt to hit. <laughs> yeah. Is that the one that makes the enemy's movement zero, zero if it hits? Mm -hmm. Is he? He's not quite flanking yet, though, right? No, no, he's still like 15 feet away from Grimly. Okay. Boy. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> that yeah. is twenty-five. Hits. <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah. Nowhere. It, it turns to you menacingly. Eight <laughs> points of damage. Eight points. Yeah. Okay. Where do you think you're going? So it tries to uh, stumble through like the the entrance of the cave. It kind of has to like duck its head down uh, to make its way through. And as it does, you take your axe and dig it deep into its tail to where it penetrates completely through and into the rock below it. And it stops moving and starts to look directly at you and roars. I roar back. All right, <laughs> you roar back. All right, the second dragon back at you. that sits atop where uh, Abel currently is. Uh, we have Brom and uh, let's see, Ken over there. I'm gonna fly up here. It's going to land on this little rock here. Indrek Honig, you're not safe from me. <laughs> uh. It's head it'll, will just taunting. <laughs> Everybody's it's, just speaking dragon. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> what are you all saying? You're uh, not safe from me. This <laughs> is a ridiculous thing, but what it ha the fuck? has this. Uh, oh, it doesn't reach. <laughs> it doesn't reach. Uh, it certainly does. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Damn. Oh no. I have to. I have to make it right. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I just have to angle it correctly. Okay, so <laughs> luckily Leodin is just out of reach. Look I at would that. I like so. to use my reaction to just evil laugh. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can evil can laugh as my... bursts of ice like slap against your face, um, because could it I is. Go my... Oh, good. Could I, could I use my reaction just to step in front of the other individual? <laughs> I mean, you can, no. but it's still gonna hit both of you. <laughs> yeah, so I just figured, yeah, let me let let me, let me take this. No. Kin and Brom, please roll a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, it's less. Right? Oh no, I'm sorry, this is a constitution save. Oh. Does Kin have bless? Don't forget bless. Yes. Do oh, not forget your bless, what is, Kin. What does bless do again? It's a D4. D4. Yeah, Abel, Kinrava, myself have bless. Okay, cool. So is it optional use or is it just Well you don't it's have it currently, but you, you use it on oh, all okay. your saves and stuff like that, yeah. So, okay. 16 on the die with a plus 5 for 21. Okay. Damn. What about you, Ken? Well, well with 12. the less and everything else added up, that is a 16. <laughs> oh, I thought you said 12. Okay. Um, no. So, so with the 16, you both save, um, but the damage is still there. Oh, shit. I'm gonna be so glad to be able to quarter this cold Holy damage. Holy shit! You guys take 45 points of damage. Uh, if you did not save, and if you did save, which I believe both of you did, uh, you take 22 points of cold damage. Okay. Uh, so that means I just, save. And then Brom has that again. Oh, am so, I? Yeah, so that's, that's 11 points for me then. Yep. So I need because to make being, being the white dragonborn, I have the cold yep. resistance. Save and cold. Yep. 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 
Okay, I need to make a saving throw for my concentration spell. How, okay. How do, what do I have to roll for this now? Is it after I roll above 22? Your damage, the damage was 22, and then it's uh, plus the level of the spell, but it's not a spell, right? No, I'm sorry. No, it's generally, it's half the damage. It's half the damage 10. of what you did, or 10. So we're looking at 22, 11 damage. So you need to make 11 on the dice. With oh, your cost, with, yeah, with your con save, so you, and con included. Oh, 14. There you go. All right, 14, you please. remain concentrating right. currently, uh, but a frit... But a frigid cold strikes both of you. It's so invigorating. He says as he holds his arms out and like shards <laughs> of ice like beat against his skin. Kin Rava is like having to like fucking hold her hands out at any ice that makes it just past Brom. Uh, Leoden, you are getting beat by like um, a, a barrage of secondary blasts of cold wind and, and ice that make it through, but none enough to damage you. Um, the creature roars out uh, and um, will use its remaining movement to fly down and get right there. Oh. Oh, brother, you have no idea. <laughs> okay. Then it is Abel's turn. You're up. Good old Abel. Um, cool. I'm going to throw the bow over my shoulder. Actually, you know what? How about this, guys? Before we start the next round of combat, we're about 45 minutes past normal break time. Let's go ahead and, since it's the start of the turn order again and we're fighting dragons, let's go ahead and take a little break before we uh, continue on with this fight, okay? Uh, we're going to take a real quick bathroom break. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can get the stream to work with me here. Be back soon. Question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it's not I working. There it goes. All right. Fight, it activated. <laughs> uh, we need they to go ahead and hard. turn off the music just a bit. Yeah, but they certainly do. I gotta find a way to. Yes, I know. Oh, Looks like HP. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I so we always need a plus. We'll be right back, guys. Uh, yeah, feel free to talk if you guys are chilling. Yeah. Oh, and, and just a heads up, Brom, uh, they can hear you um, in chat. Oh, so. they can? Yes, they can. Yes. yes. So, oh, yeah. 13 HP. How much do you have, Ken? Can I? 13. Damn. Um, can I ask Brom. what subclass Brom is? What? Which champion? Is he a champion? Uh, yes. Let's go. Yep, he is champion fighter. Uh, I, I just took the... Um, blind fighting fighting style which is why i have the 10 feet of blind uh sight. yeah blind sight no. so yeah you're looking pretty messed up bro you know okay so that's good bro, bro might have something for that i'm a wizard i get hard <laughs> you're a I what thought... <laughs> i'm a what I figured you'd go. You'd have gone down from twenty-two points. If it wasn't for the temp HP, oh, I might have. Oh yeah, that's right. The temp. I've got twenty-seven hit points, but thanks to the HP, the temp HP. I'll, yeah. I'll be, I'll, I'll be right back, y'all. I'm gonna go use the toilet. Oh my god. Also, lol. Thank you, God, for flyby. <laughs> yeah. How far away was Leoden again from where we currently are? I think it was like what? Like 43 feet, I think. Yeah, 43. Mm, done. Closer to you, probably. Like 40. I was gonna use Misty Step and just teleport to where she is and duck <laughs> in the cave. <laughs> just it's run so and jump. Jump to yeah, feet then and then. Have to take the attack <laughs> opportunity from the thing. <laughs> yeah. you, you can survive that. Uh, actually, didn't it use its reaction? 
trying to uh, attack the snake? No, because no. it like, didn't provoke. Just doesn't, oh, simply doesn't okay. get the option to do so. Got it. But was this Probably. the same round that it had? Oh no, it had to use its movement. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Trying to like find it, ways it, around this, <laughs> it, and it, it would have just gotten its reaction back there. On this yeah. Turn. Holy shit, Dan! Are you trying to kill us, man? Uh, are you kidding me? You guys are fucking destroying these things. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah. I have Shoot. a, I have a, I have a good first turn in every combat, but then after that, I'm like, okay. Yeah. Two young white dragons. That's CR twelve altogether. Yeah, but I mean, you guys are CR one hundred with six players. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't have lair actions or anything like that, so it's not like they can do anything while you guys are just beating on them. I'm glad I used Pass Without a Trace. <laughs> I'm glad we all Look, just shouted each other. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. You guys are the <laughs> worst at sneaking into anything. It's like, okay, hey. let's pass without a trace and then yell at each other. <laughs> Yeah. And throw each other at mountains. Yeah. As I was saying, Kinrob was good at it. Straight <laughs> at Leodon. She's just looking straight at Leodon. Oh goddamn. She's like, you know what? Why do we bother sneaking? Why do we bother with our lives? Why don't we just <laughs> accept what's going to happen because the bard can't sneak? <laughs> Yeah, I was really contemplating even telling you guys about that hole because I knew you guys are so inquisitive about everything I tell you. I could tell oh. you there's a table in the room. And you're like, I want to investigate the table. I feel really bad because <laughs> like, as Leodin was climbing, I kept holding my finger up to say I wanted to do something. So I just realized, wait, why are we sending Leodin? I can send Omen up there to check it out. Mm -hmm. Yep, you could have done that. Yep, that probably would have been better. I was like raising my hand up, but I don't think anyone saw. <laughs> Feel free to be like, hey, before we kill one of our players. Um, because Lead and Barely Saved fucking falling down into a pit just now. I had Levitate ready in case she fell. I'll be oh, honest. I had Levitate. Is Levitate a, a reaction? It's not, no, but I was just waiting. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I'm you can levitate her. her you can levitate her broken body <laughs> off the ground. <laughs> she hits the ground. <laughs> yeah. So she's easier to drag. Yeah. So if we all have this, we'll be able to actually control our own characters. Yes. Not only will you get to uh, control all your characters, I control some of your camera angles at times to show you a more cinematic view of like what you see and what's going on around you. Ooh. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. On top of that, you can keep track of your character stats on your your token. For instance, you can see your player's HP, uh, you have your armor oh. class, your movement speed, and everything like that. Um, you have the option to turn on and off torches. You can open and close doors, chests, and things like that that you find inside the game by right-clicking and opening it. Uh, so you just like, hey, I want to open this chest. And I say, okay, go for it. And you go right click it and it opens. It has like a little animation and stuff like that. Uh, all that stuff. Go ahead. And that's when it turns into a mimic. Your hand gets stuck and it tries to eat you. <laughs> there you go. So for instance, I'm down for that. <laughs> um, you can roll dice in here. You can, I mean, essentially, yeah, it's not, it's not just move your character. Best part about it is that you can move your own camera. Oh, thank you. Uh, who was that? Holy shit, Anonymous Chira, 1,000 bits? Thank Yay. you. Awesome. Also, I gotta say, Falcon, my character really wants to talk to yours at some point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Plans. Plans. <laughs> I really like that bow you got there. <laughs> Not able. <laughs> that bow looks mighty long. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out a sling blade. <laughs> I reckon I'm going to kill you with it. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest here with you. Like, I'm a third. I got 13 year old sense of humor. I tried really hard to not, to not burst out laughing. You were like, "Oh, he's great with his great sword." I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's that there etched on your shaft? Is that a dragon? <laughs> Lots. Not just a dragon. Nine. 
dragons. It's about I'm, I'm nine nervous. dragons long. <laughs> it's about nine dragons long. <laughs> so hard. I was trying so hard not to go there. <laughs> it's about nine dragons long. <laughs> Oh. So, Chet, how you guys doing? Uh, <laughs> Arth with a slap with a knock knock. Thank you very much. Speak, speaking of knock knock, knock knock. Who's there? There? Doctor. I refuse. Come on, some. Doctor no, <laughs> Doctor Strange. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I have a question for everyone. So if, if, if you work at a Samsung store, does that by default make you a guardian of the galaxy? Oh, oh yes. yes. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> real quick, real quick, let me interrupt. Uh, Soulbinder1214, uh, if you could refrain from advertising like that in anybody's stream, uh, that would probably be best. That's uh, considered bad uh, streaming etiquette, and, and I'd appreciate it if we didn't do it here as well. Uh, you are more than welcome to hang out and talk and chill with everybody here, um, and you know, casually mention that you know, oh, you know, I've been playing Genshin Impact and talk about the game and everything like that. But uh, try not to advertise in other people's streams. It's not very, uh, it's not considered nice etiquette. But I appreciate you being here, though. All right, sorry. Uh, I Go did ahead, Arthur. Arthur door and uh, when, when it gets to that point I will definitely change it <laughs> what happened he posted a picture of uh, like an owlbear a little fold them up owlbear thing Aww. oh it's adorable yeah yeah, yeah I, I saw that that's yeah that's gonna be able <laughs> <laughs> yeah sure I'm gonna be able to talk to him <laughs> <laughs> Now, because I am horrible with who's who and who's what and character names. Yep. As I'm trying to unload the, adjust my camera settings in here so I can see everybody. And for some reason I cannot, so let me do, there we go. Um, Olanu is a barbarian, correct? Yes. Goliath. What, uh, what, what, uh, path of, uh, Totem barbarian bear. is she? Totem bear? Okay. If you're not a barbarian with totem bear, what the hell are you? <laughs> path of the zealot? <laughs> so, I mean, everything <laughs> else? <laughs> I, mean, I, I love my, barbarian my because they're so, like, you can do so many things with them. Yeah, it's like the the barbarian, the the path of the zealot. If you drop to zero or an outright die, you if you have a healer, they don't need to worry about the the resources Opponent. to bring you back. They just spend the spell slot and poof, you're back to life. It's it's a bit of a blessing and a curse because at one hand, you can always come back. On the offhand is if the world's like that you become a freak show where they're like yeah check this out we kill him <laughs> mumbo jumbo poof he's back <laughs> and look i've still got my diamonds <clears throat> you can make some good cash off that all right on that note uh is everybody uh good to go get ready uh, get back into combat mode ready yeah. all right all right looks Never. like everybody's good to go ladies and gentlemen uh let's oh, go ahead boy. <laughs> and head back into it. Hope you got a towel, cause it's gonna get real sweaty up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Uh Lochness wants to fight Oh, apparently we're rolling for initiative again and we're back. Let me accept this duel real quick. Uh knock Lochness on his fuck! <laughs> Never mind. All right, Abel. <coughs> <laughs> Let me knock him on his yes. <sighs> Abel, <clears throat> you're up. Am I? You are. Yes. You are currently. <laughs> you are currently uh, twenty feet away from first dragon, second dragon. Uh, you I... are about fifty-five. 
So I'm going to use 55. 30 feet of my movement, and I just want to get um, closer to Grimly. Closer to Grimly. Okay, so over here. Yep. All right, you hop the rock. And I will. Uh, I will. I'll actually, if I can, provoke an opportunity attack from the dragon. You want to run, like run by the dragon and get as close as you can to Grimly. Yep. Uh, to intentionally provoke if I can an opportunity okay, attack. Okay, so. I think you were like over here somewhere. So we're gonna go here. You're gonna get within melee and then get about here. So 30 feet will actually get you there. Got it. All right, the dragon's gonna make a swipe at you as it, like, as it sees you, it like immediately goes for a like snapping bite towards you. Uh, and we'll roll to hit. That is a 14 to hit. That just misses. Just misses. All right. So the strike goes wide and you like, you do like a, a badass like slide on the ice uh, as the, the bite goes like right over you. Yeah, I'll slide and then I'll sort of roll and come up and shoot uh, and two arrows at it. Uh, at the one you just passed? Yep. Okay. Go for it. First one. Big brain. Is a 25 to hit. 25 to hit. Yeah, that hits. That is 11 points of damage. Okay. And then the second attack uh, is a 21 to hit. 21 hits. For 13 points of damage. So 24 points of damage. I'll just get up on one knee, two arrows back at it. Uh, Abel, <clears throat> as you slide over uh, and like, as you're sliding, you do one of those things ah. where you're like sliding uh, forward. Yeah, you like dive forward and you roll on your back and as you're sliding on your back, shoot off two arrows. Uh, how would you like to do this? Oh shit. Oh, shit. God damn it. Oh, I can't think right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's the lamest way to kill this thing? Shoot it in the butt. Shoot it in the butt. Yep. Uh, no, uh, shoot it in the butt. I don't know. I'm, I'm blanking, Dan. You, you can <laughs> it for me. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. So as you uh, you do your, your kind of Spit in roll, because you just <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> Um, you dive face forward into the ice and you roll along the ice and you let loose two of your arrows. The creature strikes downward towards you and misses and as it does, it lets out a screeching roar. You see ice and particles uh, flying out of its mouth towards you as if it's almost about to use another breath of ice. And you take your two arrows, bolster them together in the same drawback and release two arrows simultaneously. And as you do, both arrows lodge into the creature's glands in the back of its throat as it's about to shoot out the ice. And as it does, you see the creature's neck begin to crystallize over until it itself <laughs> explodes as it starts to scream. It shoots blood and gore everywhere and lands okay. on the ground, uh, slamming into like the ground next to Kin Raba and, uh, and Brom and Brom like has to catch Kin Raba as she nearly falls over to the edge or falls over the edge because uh, the creature slams into the floor next to them. Uh, you immediately all Bra hear the cry and scream and roar of the other dragon inside the cave echoing out towards you. Don't worry, um, I got you, bro. <laughs> April is just like, holy shit. And then he'll turn and look at the other dragon, and then I'll use my bonus action to move Hunter's Mark over to the other one. Okay. okay I was just going to awkwardly go, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she just kind of dusts herself off. <laughs> I think I got it now, thank you. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Uh, that is one dragon down. Grimly, you, sir, are up. 
I will place my axe and point it straight towards the creature that's not mm-hmm. facing me at the moment and utter a vow of enmity. Holy shit! And I'm going to start... My eyes are going to start glowing the gold, and I'm just praying to Helm to help me strike this creature down, giving me advantage on the attacks. And I'm going to rush up and take two strikes at its back. Excellent. Even though I have advantage anyways. Yeah. But who's to say what happens next? Correct. Yeah, after he kills uh, Grimly. (laughs) Uh, that is 15 to hit 15 unfortunately does not hit come on okay that is 18 to hit it does hit Plus three. See what what Six little damage. things I get out of our game because you kick my monsters' asses. I I make back <laughs> in destroying my chats uh, <laughs> in fighting. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, how much damage That's we got? Okay, I, I'm still the that master. Is six damage. Come oh on. yeah, big damage with a six. I'm pumping a divine smite into this motherfucker. Oh, of course you are. Go for it. <laughs> Paladin this Big shit money, up. No whammies. Hold on. Man. 2d8. 2d8. That is another 8 damage. 8 damage on top of that. Excellent. And I will hold there. All right. This creature is hunter's marked. I need to mark that as well. Grimly is holding. Brom, you're up. Well, does Brom have drop, a by the way? Does Brom have a clear line of sight to the dragon in the cave? Uh, yeah, for sure. And is he within 150 feet? <laughs> oh, yeah. You are definitely within 150 feet. I think he's only like maybe in 75. Draconic, Not even in 50. In Draconic, he, he yells at the dragon, Hey, dumbass, your friend out here is dead and you're next. He just, uh, you hear him one. roar back in Draconic, more than friend, you killed family. His hot wind throws off the first arrow, but that second arrow is a twenty-three. This <laughs> hot wind. Okay, yeah, the second one hits. I wish I understood the draconic. <laughs> <laughs> you you just hear oh, some roaring <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> it's so cool. I, I, I'm getting the high to hits, and I just can't get above minimum damage. I feel it's you. okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, four, four points of damage. Brom four! Yes! Brom drops his bow. Okay. Um, undoes the... And just draws out his great sword in preparation to cut the... Unless he can... Um, cut the rope off of him and start hauling ass towards the uh, dragon in there. Do you still have a bonus action I left? I you were tied. I have not used a bonus action. I'll say you use your bonus action just to snap the rope. I mean, you have a fucking sword it, and you're powerful as shit. You tighten the rope against your waist and just snap it with a bonus action. Cool. So, uh, if you would be so kind as to move me 30 feet closer to that, uh, uh, dingus in the cave. <laughs> You've got it, friend. Dingus it is. I'm coming for you, dingus. I know not your words. 15, I could have rolled a D4 for bless. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 
Fuck, where did your character yeah, I forgot, go? I forgot about Bless too. <laughs> what, what is happening? What is happening? What is this? Oh, balls. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I teleport. I teleport through the ether and I peer on the other dragon's back with my great sword just embedded in its neck. <laughs> Holy Surprise. shit, Prom's a badass. You... Surprise, mother sucker. <laughs> disappear off the board and then reappear! As a new dragonborn. <laughs> Unfortunately, this one does not carry your name, but you are still who you are. Also, Toralix and fucking Arth, you crazy bastards, 500, uh, <laughs> 500 each. And then 500 for Abel slaying the dragon by shooting it in the mouth. Very cool. Very, oh, yeah. very cool. All right. <laughs> it knows not what you say, but you have moved 30 feet closer. And you are currently about 20 feet away from it now. That's good. That's good. Okay, perfect. Then we move back into this mode and move on to Leod. And God, I love how it just keeps track of everything. <laughs> okay. Leod, and the the rope goes slack. I I keep seeing Falcon Wolf in chat, and it's tripping me out. Because <laughs> I want to respond to Falcon Wolf like, oh, hey, Falcon, but he's right here in the call. <laughs> What's up, bro? Now you know how I feel so every time. Like, you can say hi. Now okay, you know how um... I feel every time you guys either, like, you know, subscribe to the channel or donate. I'm like, thanks. Oh, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Why do you mean, oh? It's just you. It's no, 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 no. Uh, I, I mean it in the nicest way. <laughs> okay. This is probably gonna mess with things, but I want to go into the gross room. I, I want oh. to try and dash and see if I can get oh, around. Oh, yes! You yes. want to go yes. into the gross room? <laughs> yes! Oh, Do it! <laughs> You're going into the gross room. All right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Leiden. <laughs> uh, Turns out it's first, you are. dining room. First and foremost. <laughs> As you make your way into this tunnel, please roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, fuck yeah. That's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. You pinch your nose and hold your gullet as the worst yeah. smells enter into your fucking body. And you <laughs> make your way up and like literally having to place your hands on the nastiest materials having to do so, climb up and through this tunnel, and it leads I, you. I would like to point out that I'm also trying to protect my mandolin as best as I possibly can, like under a cloak or something. Yep. Just, I want, I want that known. <laughs> it's now coated in gore. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, I'm on top, that's fun. Uh, yeah, yep, uh, mm, uh, I'm gonna kill you real quick. And then what I'm gonna do? Yay! Uh, then he's gonna actually I kill you where, when there's two I... more dragons in that room. Leoden, you pop oh, up like over here. <laughs> uh, what do I do? Ooh, library. <gasps> we pick up human, and we get Leoden back with us. Where are you, Leoden? You're over here. Place you down, give okay, you a but... torch. You crawl out of the hole. And when you crawl out of the hole, you find yourself in a room. And in this room, you see that it's only about eight foot high in this cave. It seems to be unfurnished and unlit. But you see that the hole you crawl out of leads into a large room full of bones, nastiness, and a large pile of treasure in the corner. Uh, you still have your action and uh, bonus action. So that was with dash I got there? No, that is just straight up with movement. This is only about a 20-foot 20, oh. 20 tunnel. Um. Of course she finds the treasure. I know, that's what I'm sitting here thinking. Great, I want to walk to the treasure. <laughs> I just started scooping it up. All I right. 
bag of holding, folks. You use your action to dash, then, I assume? Yes, please. Okay, you get to the treasure. You have one bonus action left if you uh, would like to do anything with it. I think I'm too far away to do anything. But let's double check just to make sure. We've got oh, a doom that can lolly hear in the me. chat. Technically, how far away is everybody from me here, where I'm standing? Uh, like literally, how far I'd away? I'd say, I'd say about. I'm gonna guess it's closer to 80 or 90 feet, but I'm just. You're, like you're looking. At the closest person to you is 95 feet. Um, everybody else okay. is upwards cool. of over 100. Then I'm not gonna do anything. I'm here. You're there, and you are just staring down upon a pile of stuff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> dice, everybody. Ken. It's dice. You are up, my dear. Okay. Um. No fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be fine. <laughs> okay. So I will I'm knock far away. you off the side of the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> I will help him. Oh, hold on, all right. Let, how let go. Omen from, how, how long far away is, is Omen from the dragon? Oh, from the dragon? He would have to go through the mouth of the tunnel, but he is currently... Whoop. Oh, this is what's so cool about it, is I can do, like, several movements, so I can go where he would have to fly through the tunnel. And now, I can go down and back towards the creature that we're trying to reach. We're looking at about 55 to 60 feet of movement. Okay, I think now he's useless then. Um, I guess. Is the dragon looking in my general direction after, you know, Rom just basically called his mama a bitch and such? <laughs> yeah, I would say so. I would say that he is looking in Brom's general direction after the draconic okay, your mama jokes. Come get some, punk boy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna break concentration on Dragon's Breath. Got it. Kinrava's going to raise up her hand, and a large magic circle is gonna form under the corpse of the dead dragon. And she is going to say, in Draconic, rise and serve your new mistress. And she is going to cast Mage Image to make it look like the dragon is slowly rising back up from the ground. That sounds fun. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So, yep, she's got a major image to make the dragon look like it's slowly rising back up off the ground. Okay. Then, since I can do this with major image, god, this is such a great spell, She's going to have it look at its sibling. Mm -hmm. And what was the name of the dragon's sibling again? Because I remember they called he called out to it before. He did. Um, the dragon sibling is Tizar. You haven't found out okay. what this one's name is, but you know Tizar. No. So she's going to make him look like he's rising up, bow his head towards her, and then slowly turn his head towards his sibling. And then she'll say in Draconic, kill him. And the dragon will also then say in Draconic, you have you have no chance to Zar. And then slowly start walking towards him. Just to basically cover up the mouth of the cavern so he's not going to come out. Okay. And uh, then can uh, move. You can move Major Image how far? Let me check. Create a 20 foot cube. 30 feet. 30 feet? It doesn't say, so I'm assuming it's going to use my. It doesn't say. It says I can move it and make it look realistic. And Yeah, I mean, if you can move it 30 feet, that's fine. Yeah. So you're looking right so, at the mouth of the cave. So major image drops right there. Uh, okay. Abel. Like, bounding over your head is what looks to be the undead corpse of uh, the dragon you just slayed. 
Uh, but you look behind you and you can see that the corpse still lays dead on the ground. And, and, I, don't, and I don't understand a damn thing she said. No. And I was going to move 30 minutes to go west so that she is behind the wall. So, <laughs> you know, if it uses its frost again, I'll be safe. Yep, sure. Unless it flies out and finds your ass. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck, tail spires? No! All right, there we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. And All right. Yeah, that's that be my turn. Rock on. Uh, Omen, you got anything for him? I will fly down on my shoulder, I guess. Sure. Why okay. not? Omen flies down onto your shoulder, wherever he is. There he is. Awesome. Now we go on to Iceheart. Are we missing? Did I skip somebody? Did I skip anybody? I don't think I did, right? Okay, no. just making sure because I, I I messed around with a couple tokens. All right, Iceheart, my friend, you are up. I agree. I'm gonna take two swings at him. Okay. Let's use my metal this, this time. You are currently... Uh, and both are at advantage. Yes, you are currently flanking, so you do not need to use your reckless, unless you'd want to. Nope, nope, nope. He does not need advantage. Twenty-six. God damn. Yeah, that math checks out. Say twenty-six? Uh, <laughs> yep. Okay, that hits. And... 19 for the second. 19 also hits. Okay. Let's roll the damage together. So 16 damage for the first. Okay. Get his ass, Brad. 18 damage for the second. 16 and 18. 34 points of damage. That is how I do <laughs> Alright. It roars out in shame as you slash into its white covered body. Alright. The creature yells out in pain and um, it will just scream in draconic um, it would scream, Galim, you are not yourself! And whoosh, let out a breath of cold out the, t the front of this uh, cavern. So, Grimly, Brom, <coughs> excuse me, Grimly, Brom, and Abel, I need you to make dexterity saving throws. Uh, and I will explain as uh, to better let people know uh, why he is using this currently, even though his brother's in the way. Uh, white dragons are immune to cold damage, therefore he knows he's not going to hurt his brother if he does this. It's he's a, just trying to get rid of the ants. It's a con save, right? Not dex. This is a con save. Did I say dex again? I meant con. It's not as good. I get to re-roll this, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. All right, so uh, go ahead and give me some stats. Uh, first off, Grimly, what do you got? Nat one. Oh my God, oh, Grimly! Oh, so many nat ones this episode. Okay, nat one. Uh, Trey, what do you got? Or Abel? Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think uh, saves. So, you also fail the roll. Brom, what do we got? Are you Brom. ready for this? I'm ready. Sorry. <clears throat> you can add to the total of natural ones by one more. God no, bless God. America! <laughs> it's a good thing I have cold resistance. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, I don't believe I have Indomitable yet, so. All right, so all on that, fail. all three of you fail. Uh, meaning that we go and we roll 10d8, I believe. That is 10d8. Here we go. And I'm just going to toss him into the cave. That is 50 damage. points oh my of damage. Hell. Down to 25 so for Brom. I'm I have resistance. Down to 25 for Brom. Five zero points of damage. How's everybody yeah, looking? Just jump the ledge with me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this point. <laughs> Ow. Uh, uh, <coughs> Grimly, are you still up? Jacked up. Yeah, I'm still up. Grimly, still up. Brom, are you still up? Oh, indeed. I am looking severely jacked up, though. Abel, you still up? Abel oh. is oh, no. down. No fucking shit. A Abel gives a wiggle, a twirl, and is very surprised. Uh, and is currently. If only it had left. Currently, uh, passed out on the ground due to the cold. Uh, he is he is blasted with uh, shards of ice, and you can see it's it's like torn open some of his winter gear. You see blood kind of running and seeping out through different points in his gear, uh, and he lays unconscious on the ground behind Brahm and next to Kinrava. Uh, the creature screams out at the top of its lungs and tries to tackle his brother as he pushes forward. Uh, Grimly and Leoden, I'm sorry. Yeah, Grimly and uh, Olano, you may make attacks of opportunity against it. Hey, Dan. Would, would hey, what? Rom be able to make one as well as he is running up? Did I do something incorrectly? No, I'm just going to cast Absorb Element as a reaction to have that damage on myself. Okay, 25 it is then. Nice. Are you uh, alive? Yep. Okay, so oh, we'll, thank God. Oh. we're turning you back. Fly toggle. Sorry about that. You're good. JK, JK. <laughs> yeah, JK, JK. Still 25 fucking points of damage. Uh, Grimly, what'd you get? Uh, so that was... Uh, um... So on an attack, I add... Cool. I rolled a 12. You I have advantage on the attack, different. don't forget, you have enmity on it. Or enmity, enmity? And bless. And bless. What do I, what do I add to the Strength attack? Strength plus proficiency, so it should be plus 6 okay, for you. Okay, so it's a 17, so I hit. Okay, so you just barely hit. Go ahead and roll damage. And Olanu, what you get? Uh, 22 Fuck. Sentinel. That hits. And Sentinel. He ain't going nowhere. How far so away? I, I don't hit Nine it points all, of damage. Nine points of damage. <laughs> so that is 85. And then what'd you say, uh, Grim? What's your damage? Um... If she sentinels it, it doesn't move past me. And the way we rolled it before is that I don't get an opportunity attack because it didn't move. Okay, got it. Yep. <clears throat> so sentinel goes off, unfortunately, not allowing it to move anywhere and literally staying exactly where it's at. Uh, to answer your question, how far is it away from you? It is 20 feet. All right, the creature lets out a roar in pain as Olanu's axe yet again finds purchase in one of its wings this time as it goes to, like, push forward and, like, poof out its wings to jet jettison itself out of the cave. She takes her axe and places it through its wing into one of the walls next to it and causes its wing to get stuck on the wall. Abel, you're up. The creature in front of you does not seem to be affected by the wind and the ice uh, and uh, is currently just like <laughs> heaving in front of you, uh, but you of course see the the current uh, aggressor beyond it. All right, I'm going to roll a concentration check for Hunter's Mark. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. 25. That damage. Yeah. 25 down to uh, 11. Or, I'm sorry, 12. That is a 14 on the save, so Hunter's Mark is still up. Um, is it obvious 
to me at this point that this thing is an illusion. Uh, what's up, Winak? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Through that blast and through that cold, it didn't even seem to flinch or anything. And the icicles and shards and everything like that clearly uh, penetrated the... Passed right through. Yeah. The image. Got it. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move closer so that this illusion of a dragon is not obscuring my view. Yep. So I'm just going to walk right through it. Okay. Right there. And then... That's like 10 feet I will shoot it. This is awesome. Okay. This is fucking awesome. Walks <laughs> right through its little leggies. <laughs> Uh, first one. Oh, I have blessed, which I keep forgetting about. Bless is dropped. I divine smite. Divine. It shouldn't drop. I divine smite, so concentration drops on bless. I don't think. N right. no, uh, unless you cast divine. another concentration spell, nothing, nothing will drop there. Oh, okay. yeah. So I can still. Okay, never mind. Then yeah. Bless. You can still cast spells. Oh, damn, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah. You're good, you're good, you're good. This whole time. Hey, we learned, we learned, we learned. Uh, tw 25 to hit. <laughs> yep, that hits. There it is. Bitch. Minimum damage, six points. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> We're gonna kill this with bug bites, guys. We'll kill it with bug bites. <laughs> Alright. And then the, the second... Attack is a uh, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty hits. I forgot how high my attack bonus is with the bow. Yep. That is ten points of damage. Ten points of damage. Nice. The arrows strike it uh, like in its neck as it's turning to uh, bite and swipe at Olanu. And I just sort of shake off my arms as the, the frost has gathered at the edges of my gloves and my armor. I'm like, <sighs> yeah. Did you roll damage or did you roll your? Uh... Oh wait, it's immune to cold damage. Never mind. So Who there wouldn't have been what? your absorb elements. What about it? Your absorb absorb it elements. It it adds uh, uh, a what you call it to it. Oh yeah, that's for it's for melee. Oh, it's only for melee. I thought it was for a, a, an yeah. attack. So you're good. Okay. Uh, okay. So Grimly, you're up. Attack. <laughs> you don't I'm my say. <laughs> and I'm two handing this bitch. Yes. Dropping the shield one, and two handing it. Nice. Okay. Two. 23 to hit. Hits. On the first one. I think that'll hit. And. Second one is 11, so it misses. Okay, so go ahead and but hit on the first one. And. Plus three. You're rolling with that is 11 damage. damage. Yes. Okay. 11 points of damage. Yes, sir. Whoop, everybody's camera froze again. Hold on. All right, 11 points of damage. Got it? Um. The bonus actions that I have. Oops. Nope, that, I'll end my turn there. Got it. <laughs> I'm cool with that. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Brom, you're up. Brom is going to bonus action healing surge himself. Okay. Because Brom is not looking too good. I mean, um, there was a reason he wasn't going in alone here. Yeah. So that's you imagine? 1d10 plus 5. That will be... Ten points of healing, which puts him to twenty-five. <laughs> I 
and there we go and he will got? charge uh, up to 30 feet so he's like right up on this uh, other dragon yep yeah you got and plenty of space he reaches the end yeah so as he reaches the the movement to be right next to him mm -hmm. um he leaps through the air and just starts swinging like a madman with his great sword. Go for it. I'm on it. Approves. Okay. He has advantage, right? <clears throat> uh, sure. We'll give it to him. We'll say that uh, he's All right. like, maybe over here. Uh, first swing will be a 23. Hits. Let's go, bro. 14 slashing. Let's 14. go, bro. Uh -huh. He's second swing will be a 21 to hit. Hits. Four. Fifteen slashing. God damn. And and let's go. Yeah. And just for shoots and giggles, he'll look up at. No, he can't do it. That's a. It's a. It's. I forgot the the other thing is in action as well. So, what yeah, what is your shoots uh, and giggles? The shoots and giggles was he was gonna unload his own breath weapon right into its face. <laughs> like, I could do that too. <laughs> <laughs> As he's immune to cold damage, it's just insult to injury. But how yeah. would you like to do this, Brom? <laughs> hey, Let's go, oh, Brom. I, uh, Let's go. I, I, uh, <laughs> the, the second swing after, like, the first downward slash, like, opens up the breast of the dragon. And then the second one is like the back, the, he flips the grip around on his sword, so he's holding it like this and he just jams it into the heart. And as he, um, as, as he uh, impales its heart, he goes, you have failed. And just rips the, the sword to the side, just shredding the heart. In its last guttural attempt at anything, it just yells out, Golly! As he All starts right, to then. choke on its own blood. <laughs> and you see the gore splattering a grimly shield as he holds it up. Um, but, Brom, you bring your sword up through the chest and pierce through its heart. And the creature just coils up and slams into the wall next to it, causing, like, a, a few small stalactites to fall from the ceiling and rocks to crumble down on top of it, causing a slight rock slide on top of the body finishing it off as it dies did we have somebody who is currently down no we do not we did but okay. we uh we retconned we magically fixed okay. it I'll, I'll gladly go down Yay. and give him my spell spot back <laughs> no that was not a just... i was I was not being uh, sassy about it. Oh, no. I, I'm, I'm more than happy I'm to saying, retcon a player death. <laughs> that's more. That's more drama. I'm always down for more drama. No, yeah, we just, we just, we can uh, we can pick up our drama. No problem. We can pick up our drama at any other point. We don't have to kill characters for that. <laughs> all right. Uh, so as this all kind of boils down, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and cut the music. And let's go with more of an ambiance and cave sounds. We pick up as we move on over to Leoden. Something is going on uh. in this cave over here. Doobie 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 doobie. Oh, we still get to see. Nice. I would like to... Oh, shit. Did the wrong thing. Carefully search that treasure pile because I have been told I shouldn't touch a thing and so therefore I don't want to touch it but I also want everything that's in front of me to go in my mag my 
borrowed bag of holding. <laughs> borrowed bag of holding. <laughs> All right. <laughs> borrowed. borrowed. Permanently acquired without permission. <laughs> you look in front of you, and in front of you, you see that yeah, these. Hey, Brom has given the description of said item. Right. So. Exactly. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, you look through the, the, the pile uh, with your eyes and not your hands. Uh, you kind of place your hands behind your back, knowing your own tendencies. No, I, as I, you... I, yes, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> yep. Oh my uh, gosh, I can picture this in my head. Like, <laughs> And you you look down <laughs> upon the pile. Ray and not Leon in the middle of the <laughs> Just I, eyes, do that. eyes a gleaming. Uh, you look over the pile, and you see that these dragons have uh, collected some treasure um, in their small time of being here. In this small pile against the east wall, it says that their paltry hoard only consists of about 96 silver pieces, 331 copper pieces, a stitched leather wallet, Containing what looks to be a complete set of thieves' tools. God! Oh, uh, hell yeah. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> you also. Why the f okay, cool. <laughs> you also see. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> a strange object uh, that looks to be some sort of spying glass uh, that uh, you see, but it seems to be cracked on the lens. Um, and you also see a scroll that has been tucked away underneath some of the gold. Or, I guess not gold, but silver. Okay, since I don't see anything that I'm not supposed to touch, I would like to pick all of that up, put it in the bag of holding. But, I want to look at the thieves tools that yep. are there, mm -hmm. and compare them to the thieves tools I just bought. Yep. And whichever one's better, I want to keep those, like, appearance-wise. Whichever one appearance-wise looks better. Sure, and then absolutely. I will just tr trade. I'll go, oh, I want these. And put those in my pockets and put yeah. the other ones in the bag of holding. You can, you can do the whole, like, placing both of them out and then trading pieces to see which one's better. And you can compile the best-looking set of Thieves tools anybody has ever seen. <laughs> Perfect. She is that vain. I am that vain. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like um, very So, after I've gotten all that stuff, I'm not even going to open the scroll. I'm not going to deal with it right now. I would like to go towards where I think everyone else might be, since I probably haven't heard anything about the fight ending. And now I'm very worried that all my friends are dead, and I should not pay attention to the treasure. Ooh, Arth has all of us hydrating, if you will. Oh, uh, cheers. Oh, we gotta we gotta hydrate, and uh, we gotta hydrate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm all out right, I'll do both. Damn it, yep, I'm out of beer. Lead in. You make I your way. I have whiskey. Down the tunnel. As you make your way down the tunnel, you see that it looks like Brom is cleaning off his blade, and Leoden, or I'm sorry, and Elanu is like coming down from her rage as she just like sp is like panting heavily. So, um, it's not that way. And you, you kind of yell from your little cliff looking down at them. Hey. Lana well, spins around. Well, that's a relief. Her axe up, and it's like, oh. <laughs> no, it's fine. Why do you all? Why does everyone do crazy things all the time, and nobody takes two seconds to think? Well, there's no one. I want to quickly point out back that there a minute ago <laughs> is not is completely lost on her of what she just said. Of course. Uh. If she found the item, she I could can... be possessed by it. <laughs> All right. I'll right. shoot three yeah. arrows at her. I've got this <laughs> scroll. What does it do? <laughs> yeah, she just starts reading. Reading a scroll. All right. Um, 
you guys now see that once Leoden emerges from this, that this cavern system that she is currently standing in uh, is a larger room. Uh, and also, uh, Olanu and the rest of you, the crew, kind of entering in through the front entrance, is a larger room that has a, uh, a natural column that, uh, takes up the center of this area. Uh, and on top of, or I'm sorry, inside of this room, um, Leoden, you don't have dark vision. Uh, Olanu, you have dark no, vision? No, but I've got my, sorry. No, it's fine. I would have had light going. Uh, Okay. I would have had nope. Sorry. So, no problem. Leah didn't your 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 torch kind of barely illuminates. Uh so at this point you look downwards uh towards the distance um and you can see j what just barely looks like metallic cages or metallic doors or something like that off in the distance. You're not sure what to make of it from where you stand. You also way. see a passageway that leads a little bit further into the caves. Oh, By the way. I do have... Oh, I'm sorry. I do have dark vision 60 feet. Oh, there you go. Okay, perfect. All right. Ken, what you got? Ken, Ken Rava's not dispelling that dragon illusion as she comes in. She's oh, yeah, keeps still there. it around. <laughs> it lasts 10 minutes. So I'm, keep, I'm making the most out of it. <laughs> yeah, you just see it kind of like huffing and puffing like in its position. By the way, we might want to consider actually harvesting those dragons for pieces. You can, dragon pieces sell for an awful lot to the right hunters. As you watch Grimly hack into the mouth of the dragon yes. we just killed. Well, Brom well, is shouldn't currently, we keep going? Brom is currently munching on the uh, heart of the dragon he uh, just slaughtered. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Uh, you, no, you, like note that, you note that, that, that time is of the essence, as you believe that the thing has yeah. uh, been activated. Yes, we, sh we should probably find should the go. artifact quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, I think it's that way, and I point, uh, what is that? North. Northwestern from me? Yeah, northwest. Or is it just straight across? Earth! Like down, okay, through that tunnel. Five dollars. <laughs> Gonna break the Tora, what are you guys like? <laughs> you guys are fucking. What is they're this like coordinating. They're coordinating their <laughs> donations. They're like Arth donates five, and then Tora licks five, <laughs> and then Tora licks five, then Arth five. <laughs> All right, sorry. Yeah, uh, as they donate, fight. We uh, move on to um, Leoden. You push forward into here, and as you do, you can see that the two metallic areas uh, are actually what look like doors that lead into two smaller uh, little mm, gel sale mm, cells if you will yeah like cells okay can i do are there any is there anybody in there uh from like, what I, you yeah from what you can see through the uh the cells themselves it seems that there is some structure or some item that is beyond it that looks to be broken Falcon. i would like to go towards that. Yeah. Falcon, you <laughs> legend. You go towards it, and now that you I are last time was your birthday. <laughs> now you uh, <laughs> you can see that there are keys and locks and broken uh, metal and stuff like that that are just lying there on the ground. <clears throat> and you look through the door, and you see <coughs> what looks to be uh, see what looks to be um a broken a large broken egg. Oh, we've hit a new hype train. <laughs> Arthur, you Large son of a egg. <laughs> Yes. You see an egg that is about the size of a halfling. Yes, it looks to be broken like and like hatch? yeah, it's okay. it's completely in, in, in shambles beyond the, the gates. Do I and I don't see anything in there other than a drag other than the egg. Other than a large egg, yes. <laughs> okay. And I look in the other one and see if I see, like, just glance in the other one and see if I see anything in there. Yep, you glance in the other one and it seems to be similar. One of these large eggs that is uh, broken beyond the, the door here. I'm gonna yell. No, I'm not. 
I'm going to get closer to the ledge and ask the people without, like, just using my normal voice, <laughs> even yep. though it's a stage voice. Yeah. So therefore, they can hear me, but I'm hoping people down the hallway can't hear oh, me. Oh, I can move the compass around. I'm sorry. Yes. Would there be a reason why they would keep, like, they being the dragons that's here, would keep hatched eggs in cells? Perhaps from that's where they came from. But would they keep them? Uh, if the artifact was activated, it could have aged the dragons, potentially. Oh. All right, can so that's what's in the cells. Can Robert... Should I try to break into one? Do we need to? Let's get know. the that's artifact. We can we can collect the eggs after. All right, I'm gonna march my happy ass down that hallway. Okay. In a stealthy Ma manner, if you don't mind. <laughs> Roll for stealth. Right on, is hot on her heels. Yep. Okay, Brom. Let's, let's all start running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Leodin <laughs> begins. <laughs> Leodin's like, whoop, -ba -da -ba -da. she starts to skip down the hallway. <laughs> Brom spits stealthily. out. I said stealthily. Brom spits out some of the heart that he had, like, in his mouth and, like, continues to, like, run after her. Um, <laughs> Okay. No, he's he's running. He's holding his sword in one hand over his shoulder with the heart in his hand, and he's running and home nom nom nom. <laughs> <laughs> and Rama will quickly follow as well, because this whole time they've been talking about the artifact, she has kept her eyes trained firmly on Brom every time it's like mentioned or their powers it's mentioned. Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm in the white. Oh, where are you? Where'd you disappear to? S stop climbing mountains, would you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> there. I wish I could climb those mountains, okay? <laughs> Alright, now we're good. Alright, so you guys follow Leodin. As you guys make your way into the caves. I love that mic. Ali's, oh, mic. Ali's I colorful mic. I am like hypnotized by it. <laughs> I told her that it's awesome that it's in frame. Leodin, all the subs. <laughs> Leodin, I, dude, it's Arth, man. He has just been gifting like crazy today. Um, of course he has. Oh, you guys, are so like. so freaking insanely generous. Thank you. Okay, uh, Leodin, you find that you uh, yeah, come up to a fork in the road. Uh, you see that there is a path to the left and a path to the right. I was like, don't, please don't pull out too much. Um, That's what she, <laughs> what she said. Yeah. All the should time. we, should we split <laughs> one half go one way, one half go the other? Absolutely. Well, we first, first, I would like to check to see if I can hear <laughs> anything going either direction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll a perception Y'all are just marching on, so, and I'm like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> All right, roll a perception. I'll even, I was like, I'll even actually roll. I'm not sure you want me to, but I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the lowest roll I've ever made. Not really. It is a 16. Oh, my God. My perception is plus seven, folks. All right, oh, so my perception is plus nine. Lead a in. 16. <laughs> and have you rolled better than that? Yes, a 16. So with a 16, you hear some commotion, <laughs> a little bit of like moving around, some shuffling uh, to the path on the right. I'm going to, and but I don't really hear anything to the left no. or to the uh, uh, the west. Okay. Correct. I'm going to say, I think I hear stuff that way. Should we just all go that way? Or do you want to split? up and take both sides. If we take both sides, we're at least ensuring we can't be attacked from behind. True. Yeah. I think I want to go that way. Whoever Chances are Brom. the noises Brom, why are the direction the, left? the artifact is. Brom, why don't you come with me to the left? Indeed. Okay. 
Ken Leoden, or I'm sorry, Ken Brom to the left. Uh, who's going right? I'm following you, Leoden. <laughs> Leoden to the right. Uh, Abel to the right. Grimly, where are you going? Left or right? Right. Right, and then I'll Olanu, go where are you going? I'm going left. All right, excellent. Oh. Damn it, never mind. She made the decision herself. <laughs> I can't do it. We'll... Fuck. Continue on with the ones on the right first. You guys move on until Leodin, you peek around the corner. Go ahead and roll stealth for me because you did say you were trying to go through here stealthily. Thank you. Mm hmm. 18. Okay, 18. So you do make your way uh, down this corridor until you do come up upon a scene. And what you see now in front of you. Uh, you see, lying on the ground, that there is a um, a corpse that has been ripped apart and used for its meat and or bones. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, what looks to be some sort of like slaughterhouse. There is blood on the ground that leads all the way all around, um, and on the ground you see uh, a stone tray of butcher's tools and a flayed husk of what looks to be an owlbear skeleton that has been skin gutted and stripped of any meat. Along one wall, though, you do see uh, that there are metal hooks uh, that are currently dangling um, some, uh, some meat upon them. And the meat is currently being uh, sliced on by a strange uh, humanoid creature that looks to be like in tattered winter clothing that of course absolutely does not do anything for them in terms of protection at this point now um, due to the amount of shreds and tattered clothing uh, so uh, I will show you here that there is a So this is what you kind of see through the hole here. You keep finding all the gore rooms. <laughs> <laughs> it's more, I see what he's selecting, and I don't want to see what my DM is selecting anymore. Ah. So I forgot to buy it beforehand. I have it now. All right, okay. so you got it. There is a person I... that is like slicing meat at the at the end of the, the walk, or as, excuse me, at the end of the room. Does there, is, is there any light in the room beyond? There is not. Where if I extinguished light. Okay, great. Because we're... A, well, Grimly might have dark vision, but I'm pretty sure. No, actually, never mind. I'm the only one that can't see, so I'm going to keep it. <sighs> Somebody's... Can I... <laughs> Can I walk into the area? Um, and I'll roll another stealth check. I want to try and not get their attention, even yep. though I'm lit up. So yep. I don't mind if I have to roll with disadvantage. Yeah, as a matter of fact, go ahead. And uh, I'll roll for them as well. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good roll. It actually was. I just, that was more I can't believe it is. <laughs> what you got? It's a dirty 20. Okay, well, comparatively to my negative one, uh, you are Hell yeah. able to get into the room without getting its attention as you walk into the room. Um... Do I see whatever the creature the humanoid is any clearer uh yes so as you look upon yeah as you look upon the creature now you can see that as it cuts this uh this viscera or whatever meat that they have uh, gathered here um <clears throat> it basically 
you can see that there are open wounds on it. There are blackened fingers. Uh, it, it, it seems to be missing a couple digits on its fingers. Uh, part of its face is turned black. It's missing its nose. It looks like it has succumbed to a heavy case of frostbite. Uh, it is a it is a human. Cool. That's not what I thought it was when you started describing it. So that's <laughs> great. Um, I'm just gonna slowly like Thank you, walk backwards and just like talk over my shoulder. So I'm sure y'all can see it, <laughs> but there's a thing over there, and I think the thing's human. Or at one point was slightly not grotesque, but I don't I don't know if it's friendly. Do we want to just kill it, or do we want to talk to it? I, I think the best the course of action is to get rid of all enemies in the cavern while we search for the artifact. Alright, she didn't know the answer. Great. They're, they're thieves. Can I... <gasps> Since he didn't detect me, do I get to roll some kind of stealth? In order... You mean if some sort of... Just shoot him? As if what, are you, what are you trying to do? I was just thinking if I were to shoot him with my crossbow... Yeah. Um, would there be any advantages because it's a stealth? Uh, or would there be... No. Remember, I'm normally a rogue. Okay, that's what I'm Yeah, no, about. no. There's not an advantage on it. Dice. I was um, talking about... Okay. But you do get, like, a, a free attack on him before the, you know, round starts. It's, it's basically a surprise round of, a, of, uh, of an attack. Cool. Are you an assassin? <laughs> Not in my other campaign, but I like how you think. Uh, it's a dirty 20 to hit. Okay, hits. Oh, so much damage. Four whole points of damage. Four whole points of damage as the arrow strikes true in his hand. As he is cutting the arrow swoop, right through his hand and he just kind of looks at it and like is just amazed at what the hell it was and he slowly turns to the group and you can see now it is missing like half of its mouth and it shows like its skull underneath and like you can see its teeth and it looks directly at you and just with like these seething eyes just uh, go ahead and roll for initiative <laughs> Alright. So we will first off let's uh remove you guys from the original initiative. Brom, damn it. Move. Yo. Damn it, Brom. Damn it. Why can't I click you, Brom? I oh, that's not even it. you! Oh no, because I lost your token! I forgot we got a new Brom. That's like. No, he's that's, right. That's imposter oh, Brom. Okay. There's I, I can't help that I'm so awesome All that right. I am like omnipresent. I'm <laughs> here. I'm there. I'm fuck it. fucking everywhere, man. Alright, fuck it. We won't we won't worry about it. Leodin, what you got? I got a five. No, I got a six. Excuse me. Five. Perfect. Abel. Oh, shit. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Grim. No, no, 30 20. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nat 20 for Woo! 22. Let's go. All right. So on that Nat 20, go ahead. Uh, Grimly, you are up. I will pull out a hand axe while sprinting towards it and chuck it at it. Okay. Yes. Go for it. Uh, 
All right. I'll pull out a javelin and throw it at it because I don't have hand axes on my yep. character sheet for some reason. 1d6. That's a nat one. No, oh, no. God. What the fuck? <laughs> you hit Abel in the back of the head. Is that three nat ones so far in like four turns? All right. Incredible. So, unfortunately, you miss. How miss. far is he away? Do I get the full 25 feet? I mean, you can, yeah, full 25 feet only gets you like halfway into the room. Awesome. And uh, that'll end my turn. Okay. I trip on my face. Uh, perfect. Abel, you're up. Abel is up. I have dark vision, sixty feet. So oh, can I see? I can see this guy, right? You can see him. Cool. I'll use a bonus action to move my hunter's mark over to him. Okay. And then I will shoot three arrows. Got it. Go for it. Let loose. First one was a 19 to hit. 19 hits. 12 points of damage. Okay. Second one is only a 15. Hits. All right, 17. Hits. That's 13 points of damage. Okay. And then the third... Ooh, that's a 26 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that hits. And that is a whopping... Rickety, rickety, wrecked. 21 points of damage on third. God damn. All right, so we got total of six, uh, 46 points of damage on this thing. Uh, Abel, you let loose a barrage of arrows as three of them stick into the creature, like the the creature's body. Quick, quick, quick! And one hits like its shoulder, one of its like pectorals, uh, and then the other one lodges itself in its fucking eye. And it doesn't budge until it strikes its eye and it finally yells out in pain as the last one hits. It looks to be pretty fucked up from that barrage. Leodin, you're up. No, I'm sorry, Leiden. It oh. goes. It's, it's gonna. Grimly, right? Yeah, it. First. It bum rushed grimly. Wait, what? No, you had a six. On your initiative, yes. so yeah, it goes right before you. So. Correct. Um, <laughs> it charges at grimly, grimly. You look at it and you see madness in its eyes, and it goes to attack you three times. <laughs> <laughs> it just like spins its tongue around its mouth. <laughs> does, does it wiggle and then twist? It wiggle and twists Ooh. and it has an exclamation point. Um, and it goes for a triple attack on you. All Let's with advantage. Go. Let's go. So the first Ooh, one with advantage. is a 23 to hit. Hits. The second one. With advantage is a dirty 20 to hit. Hits. And the last one, that one is a 16 to hit. Miss. All right. So with these. It just uh, little, little, little you. I need to make, <laughs> I need you to make a uh, constitution saving throw. Oh. The gore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Six. Okay, you are currently poisoned, two. but you are a dwarf, so Ooh, you are I'm immune. Resistant to poison. Or you're resistant. He would so, have advantage on the save. Yeah. So yes, go ahead and roll is, again on yeah. the save. That is 18 plus four. Fuck. <laughs> for 22. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, you are not poisoned. Yeah. All right, so uh, you feel like the the mace or the the flail that is it is spinning around its head and hitting you with is covered in some disgusting mass of, of bone and gore, uh, causing you to be poisoned. But you shake it off, um, and you take uh, first off, you take seven points of bludgeoning damage. 
Nice. And the second hit is... Ooh, that is nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. All right. Is he about to Negan you? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah. How hurt are you? Bro? All right. Uh, I we move. Scott, you took that dragon breath. I thought you were at max. To lead in. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm at bonus action. Going to use my mantle of inspiration. Mm hmm. Get a temporary hit point and can use their reaction to move if they would like. Go for it. Two. Yeah. E yes, please. Oh, wait. Eight points. This is the first well. time I can use it for me, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aww, that's I nice. will be flanking that ass. All right. Oh, Flank me, daddy. <laughs> Flank me. Oh, God. I will move up to be right in front of him to be flanking with Grimley. Okay. And then... Leiden, you moving at all? Squishy me? Absolutely not. Squishy on me? Squishy on me? <laughs> I'm going to cast. Squish, squish, squish. Not good. What you got? What you got? What you got? Bane. Oh. Oh. That is a natural two. It fails. It is baned. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bane on that? Bye. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add Bane to that now. <laughs> All right, oh excellent. Uh, no <laughs> movement, I assume. Okay, perfect. Nope, I'm good. That means we are back to the top. Grim, Grim, Graham. I'm going to cast a quick cure wounds on myself. Sure. <laughs> because I have like fucking two HP. The no, no, no. Yeah. Have 10. Technically, you got 10. <laughs> 10. Okay. Which is appreciative. All right, that's a four plus uh, six. Wait. Three. 1d8 plus spell casting. Three. Three. Arth wants to know what your, your shirt says, Ray. <laughs> Trey. Oh, it says Seven um, it's not hoarding if it's books. My sister got it for me. Yes. <laughs> but it does have a dragon I, on it. That's awesome. Which is why I own it. And, and then... So I just know everybody's ability scores. Bonus movement. Do you? Do? No. If I cast a spell, I can't attack, right? Because I didn't attack. So if you if you have a second I'll action to do so, yeah. Um, so uh, that leaves us with Abel. Abel, uh, he's gonna drop the bow. Okay. He's gonna pull out his little short swordies, and he's gonna attack. Go to town. Three times. Advantage. Advantage. First one is 22. Hits. Maximum damage, 16 points of damage. Okay. So, with the first hit, you cleave through his chest with the strike that literally opens him up, and you can see some of his innards, like, falling out as it, like, drops onto the ground, and the creature drops to its knee. Picks up the innards, stuffs it back into his chest, and the wound begins to suture itself. And it just cool, looks cool, up cool, at cool, you cool. and smiles. Awesome. Sweet. I'm gonna take my second attack now. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> That's another 22 to hit. Hits. None of this matters, does it? Nope. <laughs> cool. Uh, that's another 12 points of damage. You hit him, and this time it seems that you, like, lop off his hand, 
and he catches it before it hits the ground, slaps it back on, and cracks his knuckles. Last one's uh, 18. This is a waste of time. Hits. What yeah. the fuck? Uh, me, me thinks the uh, the artifact has been activated. <laughs> at this point. All right. It, what are you we doing? We need to uh, secure it pronto. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Well, last attack. No last attack. Yep. Uh, so that's four points of damage on the offense. Okay, four points of damage. You slash him across Definitely the face as he. Up. Yeah, as you slash him across the face, he just begins to laugh in a very sinister manner. We pick over to the other team who makes their way down a hallway. Ken leading the way, Brom Rock, close behind, rocks fall, all three of you die. Um, oh, Ken, well, that's uh, you see that there is a split in the road, but there seems to be some kind of glowing energy emanating from the room to your left. I think we should head left. Well, I'll be. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, as, oh. I'm sorry, as we are walking, Brom reaches into his 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 bag, pulls out a potion and chugs it real quick. Okay, yeah. The uh the healing potion just because yeah. It's, Sounds uh, good. Four forty four plus plus four. four. So mm -hmm. two, three, four. While he calculates that, Ken, are you moving forward or are you waiting for them to do that for you? I'm going towards the light. I'm going to be the moth. All right, the moth the to light. the flame. Yes. You begin to make your way down the hallway until, in the distance, you what see in the hell? standing inside of a strange stone uh not pyre. I guess it would be a pyre. It's it's more like a, what are those things? Brazier. It's like a small stone brazier. And you look upon it and a glowing orb. Imagine instead of blue, you are seeing that amber reddish light that uh, was mentioned before uh, as it crackles with energy. Hmm. I'm going to assume this is your artifact. Oh, oh, oh my, that is, that is not good. That is not good at all. But <laughs> yes, to answer your question, it. that is it. How bad are we talking? Brum, um, you would know that what is necessary at this point is to um, basically get it out uh, of here using your item that you have uh, currently on your person. Uh, and get it back to your shaman as quick as possible. I am going to have to stow it in this um, this container as he pulls out this mithril and adamantine box with glyphs all over it. I've got probably a week or so before uh, every everybody has a really really bad time. Best get to it, then. Yeah. Brom would, uh, hastily beat feet up to it, <laughs> open the box, place the box on the ground, and then chanting the words that the shaman told him to say, using his magical great sword, just kind of nudges it out of the brazier into the box, kicks the box shut and locks it. It and, does uh, one of those slow motion like tink, tink, tink into the box until it falls into the box and you immediately kick it. Uh, the lid closed on the object, uh, causing it to be covered completely inside of that box. Now you now have it currently on your person. We move back to the other side. The creature, seeing that it's under attack, will take three strikes at Abel. Let's go. First attack. 22. Yep. Second attack. 23. Yep. 
Third attack. That's cocked. 18. Yep. Oof. All right. So that is... I need to make a constitution saving throw, please. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, where the fuck did those dice go? Uh, that's a four on the con save. Okay. Well, I don't think you need to worry about it as you take 28 points of damage. Total? Total. Bludgeoning. 28 bludgeoning. <laughs> you, uh, cool. you just got Negan, son. How you doing, friend? <laughs> yeah. Um... I have one hit point. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> yep. He is just of these beating temporary you. hit points. Booge! 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 Beating you down, wow. and every time he hits you with this thing, it brings you further and further down until you are brought to your knee, and he continues to strike, and as he continues to strike, Leoden, what are you doing? So, uh, He's looking um, like Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> I want to... But it's the best thing I can do. I want to get um, to. I want to get within touch distance of Abel. I want to yep. cast a cure wound at the second level. Whoa! Yep. Uh, you will live, boy. <laughs> yep. That's pretty much how she feels. Um, those are not deep. Maximum healing. Okay, it's not, but it's still very good. <laughs> what you got? Making sure I do this right. It is. Oh, where'd it go? Lost oh. four. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. It's uh actually is my. I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's still just plus four. Okay, so 18 points of. Yeah. Not bad. All right. Ooh. I know that's why I said it wasn't max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Um, and then uh, this would be silly to do again. I just don't trust that she's very like the fact that the the thing was able to just like take the damage and not matter. She's going to bonus action use mantle of inspiration again. Oh wait, wow. she wouldn't know. Yep, nope, she's gonna do it anyway. And just okay. throw temporary hit points. I don't right. think they stack. So no, they do not. So you are back up to eight if you took any yeah. damage. Yes. And you can move your mode, you can move uh, if you'd like. All three of you can move if you'd like. Yeah, Anybody I'm moving? Go I'll stay back where I'm again. at. Okay, Leoden, you take back off. I also need to roll a concentration check for Hunter's Mark. Sure. <laughs> Fail. Okay, Hunter's Mark disappears as your brain was bashed in. Yeah, I got uh, pretty fucked up. Yep, yep, yep. That's, uh, Grimly. That's my turn. Uh, two attacks. Go for it. At its advantage. That is a 23 to hit. Okay. That hits. And second attack is 20 dirty. Yep, that is. Or hits. 21 dirty. All right, so two hit. First one, 10 damage. Okay. Second, 11 damage. A damage. Um, Seven and an eight. So it seems to not even be worried at you. It is it literally just going to fucking town on Abel. And Abel, like, finally staving off a bit of, of damage through Leoden's healing, but still taking a beating. You take the axe and bury it in the back of his head. And he turns to you and he smiles with the axe still buried in his head. And as he smiles, his eyes go from, like, like uh, bloodlust to a bit of worry. And suddenly, <coughs> he coughs and blood starts pouring down his mouth. As he looks down worried, his eyes roll back in the back of his head, and he falls over, dead. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> All right. I'll rush over and help Abel back up. Yeah, you can help him up. Go to the other side. Thank you. What are you guys doing on the other side? Brahm has stole, stowed the um, the container back in his bag, mm -hmm. and is uh, we we should probably make sure the others are okay. Yeah. Likely, Brahm. I have a few questions for you, if you don't mind. Okay, for the sake of playtime, for the sake of yeah, playtime, let's not role play too much here. You can role play a little bit, but I'm going to end this as if it was a one shot and lead us out of the area and finish this uh, this thing up. So carry on. Yeah, let's go check the others then. Yeah. No, I mean carry carry on. If you had something to say. So like we're walking uh, and talking. Right. Yeah, walking and talking. What's the name of your tribe and where are they located? Because you mentioned that you had a shaman in your midst that had clerical magic. We mean we one of our people. Quite literally, we are known as the tribe of dragons. In, in, in common tongue, it is the tribe of dragons. 